Go. Really? This is our intro for people. Welcome once again, everyone, yeah, to Panko right. already 140. <laughs> I got that Four near headlights moment again. where I didn't even remember the number of the show. I'm pretty well, sure it's it? 144. 144? I want to yes. say it's 144. What's, was, what's terribly yeah, troubling, there are people who know this show way better than we do. People who oh, refer absolutely. to like things that happened in episode 19. Was I even oh, on that one? I don't know. I, I get people telling me stuff, like sending me little, little tweets, and I'm like, I don't even remember saying that. All right. <laughs> um. Uh, Who's oh, our sponsor a, this evening? We, I was just about to say that. We have a sponsor. His name is Yellow. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, like like the color yellow? Yeah. He's a, he's an Asian from Norwegia. From Norway. Why did I say that? Yes. An Asian Norwegian. He's a Norwegian Asian. Yes. A Norwegian, <laughs> if you will. Oh, you have to come up with your own derogatory terms for this poor fellow? Well, wings, he asked you, for it. Well, wings. <laughs> people wings were did, better in you, groups. Wings, didn't you come up with a pretty good pun about this guy? <laughs> yes, I did. I well, go. Well, <laughs> the The pun was the chink in Painkiller or Eddie's armor. Oh no! Of the channel <laughs> yellow. <laughs> it was. It's beautiful. Like, and Kyle and I both stood in awe. Like that is probably one of the most clever. You like my you've racism said. is masterful. Yeah, yeah. Wings, Wings of Redemption, master level racist. You guys will be That's surprised to card. learn he is actually the best channel on YouTube at the moment. And he plays Black Ops 2. He's a, extremely skilled. He slaughters people. He is a one-man army. He plays Half-Life 3, plays Battlefield 4, Elder Scrolls Online. Hold up, uh, hold up. Well, when Half-Life 3 comes Half out. If it comes out. Half-Life 3 isn't out. Fuck if you. it comes he, out. He going plays, to play on no, he's better than us, and he has access to Half-Life 3. Holy shit. You've he, got man, to subscribe I, I, now. <laughs> <laughs> he's out there playing Battlefield 4. He has limit-breaking technology news, which... He has exclusive access to because apparently he's already playing on the PS4 and Xbox oh, One. Oh shit! Yep. Mm -hmm. he has... He's also Asian. That right there makes him better gaming. That's than... why he's got the good stuff. He probably invented right. it. He also does your math homework. <laughs> he so has if real. In... Math homework. He has real invisibility. He can make blind people see. He can give people with fake limbs real limbs, and he knows two cures for cancer and more. He is the single idea that broke down live strong live strong is no longer organization because he cured everybody he did he cured them I, I all think, I, I think that was because lance armstrong turned out to be using steroids i think it's more because lance that armstrong cured them was a fraud cancer. and it wasn't actually a charity and people found it out My, well it was a charity it did it did yeah. do some good it just i donated got a bracelet felt better cheers <laughs> The problem was that Livestrong was all about like, oh, we give all this money to cancer research, when in actuality, just a fraction of a percent of all their operating and uh, all their income yeah, went to actual every charity. research. I think we've research. discussed this before. Well, no, no, no. The Cancer Research Center of America, I believe, is or there's a charity out there that does really, really good cancer, like actual research. You research know what charity do? would never do that? Yellow. That's right. <laughs> Never yep. would he do that. He would Yellow give 100% of the for profits cancer to already. I don't know why they're still researching this stuff when they could just ask him. Well, they don't. They should just subscribe. He's busy confirming Half-Life 3. He's got well, Let me ask you this question. Out. If there was like a Mortal Kombat fight between Yellow and Rock on 1 and 1, who would win? This week, Yellow would kick his ass. No. No. Unmovable force? It's a, it's a, it's a, it's an unresistible force and an unmovable object. Can't, can't do it. We, can't we, do we it. should probably change it to a wrestling match and have the Yolo Boys be the referee. Special guest referee, Yolo Boys are making a handicap match or a three-way. Absolutely, I well, like that. Three ways. See, they got to fight. See, the, see the Yolo Boys. One person likes yellow. One person likes rock on, and one guy's like a medium. So they all fighting. So they're like when they go to count them out, they like elbow drop them. Can I interrupt you guys? Yes. It's all about yellow this week, baby. It's all about yellow. <laughs> okay. He's Good discussing point. Good some point. old news. This man's got a Xbox One, a PS4, and Half Life 3. And you're talking about some other sponsor? Yeah, fuck that other guy. <laughs> yeah, fuck them all. He's got Left 4 Dead 4, I've heard. I just too. realized the, <laughs> I, I just realized the chink in the Microsoft's plan. When you said Xbox One there, I was sort of thinking about the original Xbox. Oh, yeah. I'm like, why? Why is it, everybody's got an Xbox One? Oh, the Xbox One. Mm -hmm. That's a good point. The Xbox One versus the PS4. It does seem like the PS4 is several generations ahead. Yeah, you would think Microsoft would have like marketers that tell them, like, you know, this may be kind of a bad idea. But Nintendo was like, Nintendo was told, hey, maybe you shouldn't call it the Wii U. Maybe you should come up with a separate name for this new console. 
And they're like, no, 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 we want the, we, we want it to be the Wii U. And what's the U what? stand for? I have, I don't know. I hope it stands for two. That's the only thing that would make any they sense. They should have spelled it. They should. It should be the the Nintendo Z, pronounced but spelled with an X, right? Because it's after W. Uh, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Okay. It's G- okay. Apparently, it's just as bad as Wii U. So we want to talk <laughs> about the. Uh... Yeah, uh, the, the, the room. Any better in sales? I don't know. I haven't paid it. Something the Wii U didn't break new ground very much in terms of like console power. Mm-hmm. It's roughly in the same generation as the Xbox 360 and the PS3. Because well, of that, I'm like, you're a tech man, Woody. Let me ask you this question. I know you probably don't know the Wii U in and out, but like, um, my, Nintendo strikes me as a company that has a little bit of money. They that you know they can dump into like engineering mm-hmm. and, and paying people to build consoles. Like, why, why do you think they picked the route they went with picking this console that's just a little bit better than the current generation? And they had to know that the my, my other two guys are about to drop something bigger. That they're they got wrapped up in the success of the Wii when it also had a low tech investment, right? Cause like the Wii is the generation behind the 360 and the PS3 it's, you know, it's weak. And it was the, like, I think it's the most profitable of all the consoles. So they're probably like, Oh, people don't care about power. People don't care about graphics. People don't care if we're a generation behind. We're still the cool one, but right? they can't even do 1080p output, I think on the original Wii. So, mm-hmm. but no one cared. Like it was all good. And they just decided, Oh, it's not, graphics that make for a successful system it's gimmicks and you know the 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 control thing the you you put the controller in a steering wheel and all of a sudden you have a driving game like they somehow decided that that was how you make a a console really profitable and in my opinion the wii for a lot of people was shelfware they bought a wii they played it for a few weeks and then it just gathered dust Mm -hmm. and even in that period you know they bought a lot of accessories and got excited before they ditched it and come Wii U, they're like, ah, fool me once, shame on you. That's just shelfware. Whereas the PS3 and Xbox 360, people who bought them, I love you more than candy. People that bought them. <laughs> Wait, uh, you got ice cream, didn't you? Yes. Kyle, they talk to your boy. <laughs> it, it, it's good that I'm not wow. looking at the Google Hangout right now because I'd be upset. <laughs> yeah, anyways, I think wow. I'm going too long about that. But I think they just decided that it wasn't the tech that made the console work. And I disagree. Hmm. And Yellow knows better because he's got the new ones already. I think they just need to make another controller so they can actually, people can actually make games for the thing that isn't motion sensor. Mm-hmm. I disagree. I like the motion sensor games in concept. Yeah. I I'm hate sure them sure in, in like real the life, though, too. because we is fucking stupid. <laughs> well, there were some cool, like the, the Wii Sports. No, I mean, so many people played that as like a party game. No, those people are assholes. <laughs> Kyle, have you I, ever... Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't let you guys finish your talk. I was just going to say, I do like the little tablet thing on the Wii U. I like that idea. You know, yes. that, that there yes. is a secondary screen, and it, do, it does do things with games. I might get, I, no, better yet, I would get an Xbox Surface if I was convinced that it would do good stuff. Like, you know what I want when I play Borderlands? And the people who watch my channel know what I'm going to say. I want the map right there on another monitor. So I can see like a GPS, me going around. Mm. I am so map tarded. Anyone who's watched me play single player games knows I get lost and I get confused. And unless I have like that dead space blue brick road, I just don't know what the hell I'm doing. I would buy a surface, put it next to my monitor because I need a GPS to play single player games. You must have sucked ass at Daisy. Um, oh, let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, because Daisy, you literally had to like be able to read a map, or you were gonna get lost. I can oh, read I... a map. No, that's not the problem. The problem is not having a map or having a partial map. Like, mm-hmm. if you play Borderlands, for example, the map is like a couple menus deep, and I like so you're in a car, you're driving along at like sixty miles an hour. You put that baby in park, you pull out your map, and you figure out where to go. That's not what I want. I want a real time GPS that's showing me where I'm going. It has a mini map, kind of like COD. But the nature of Borderlands is that you can't memorize the entire world. You know, it, it's too much. So uh, you have to stop and, and get to a wider view. Anyway, I would buy another screen just to have a world map for my single-player games. It's gigantic to me. 
I like that idea. Especially for a game like Fallout too. Like how many times for people that play Fallout do you stop and you're like, let me look at my pit boy. All right, I got to turn again to this direction and walk this way to this town that I can't fast travel to. And then, oh, I got to stop and look at my pit boy again. If you could have it up on like a secondary monitor surface, that would be really cool. I think I've said this before. Like with the Xbox One, they, since they're coming with Kinect, they should really do like voice automation on games. Like Skyrim, for example. Instead of going into my options and going to the map, why can't I just say map? And it, poop, right there it is. That's, a that's something idea. you could totally see on the one. Yeah, that's, that's actually a really good idea from Wings of Redemption. The that's Xbox cool. doesn't seem to be coming it's with two of them tonight. It's scary. It's two. He's on fire. Yeah. Or he's, he's heating up. He's not on fire. It's, 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 it's because I'm in a lower sense. I'm in that lower level, not in that exhilarated level. Mm -hmm. Ideas are just flowing. Uh, my wife, she got me Gamma Labs. They have a new watermelon flavor coming out, which I need to make a video for. And I didn't even ask for it. She just like brought it up here. You need this because I am running on empty. <sighs> it is what it is. Um, I had a topic I was interrupting with. You were saying something to me. Yes, you were. Yeah, like I... five minutes ago. And then, then we, mm -hmm. we, yeah. you were going to say something. You were asking me if all... I had done something. Or... Yes. Oh, Kyle, you're a genius. I know. <laughs> <laughs> as much as response. yellow though is he as as he is no, he no, as intelligent he's, he's and the second smartest guy we've referred to on the show tonight all right well actually third because wings is on fire sorry kyle <laughs> you're really just kind of falling in average or below average so, it's okay i can deal with it <laughs> so i twitter bombed uh a guy named christian he plays the character i think his name is hordor or hodor on game of thrones Hodor. <laughs> and uh um, I sent him, I had my subscriber send him a tweet, which he really got mad about. Oh, shit. Yeah. You pissed off Hodor? I pissed off Hodor, apparently in a big oh, way. Shit. Like Directly, he told me this. He's like, yeah, I'm kind of interested. Talk to my agent. So I wrote his agent, and he's like, Christian's mad at you. He's like, maybe if you wrote him nicely, it would have been fine. But the way you went about it, sending him all those tweets, you know, now his Twitter feed is filled with responses. And I... I can't. There's a million people who would love it if I did that to them. I don't get it. I get that many tweets every day. This guy mm -hmm. has like forty thousand followers, which is legit, but not like, you know, not Woody's gamer tag. He's not you. even on my level. <laughs> <laughs> He's not even on Wings of Redemption level. Yeah. I got eighty grand, son. What are you talking about, Hodor? Yeah, I've Wings, got, I've got Wings some... of Redemption, the original Hodor. <laughs> <laughs> Wings could do that role. Yeah, so I, I have about a quarter million, and I bet I get as many tweets on that busy day of his on a daily basis. And, I, and also, it's like people like my videos, and because of that, that turns into a lot of tweets and stuff. Yeah. So, uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know how many likes I get. So, but end of story, Hodor's a bitch. <laughs> Hodor got really <laughs> mad, and he like I, I, it was a foreign concept to me. Like, oh, my God, you got me so many tweets. Dude, that... Send me a bill for all your damages. I don't understand. Yeah, man. Hodor is a bitch. Fuck Hodor. Send Hodor some <laughs> fuck you mail. <laughs> <your name. laughs> yeah, I wanted them on the podcast. I thought it would be fun. I know a lot of people were dreading the Game of Thrones talk, but I hadn't planned on actually talking about Game of Thrones all show. You know what I would ask him? I would ask him if he was ever around for any of the nude scenes. I want to know if Hodor is getting to see some of these... These lovely ladies get naked. See, and, and if he was a you good guest, he'd be out. fun, right? It'd be like hilarious. He'd be like, he'd be like, Hodor normally not allowed. But sometimes <laughs> Hodor gotta do what Hodor gotta do. <laughs> it would be awesome. It, it, like, it, it, he could have been a really fun guest and just to talk about like his experience. He's on a high right now, right? Like this guy isn't, um, I'll say Tom Cruise, who's been a big shot for 20 years now. This guy is just, he's, you know, I'll Hodor. Hard. He's Odor. He's an overnight success. He, he wasn't really a big deal before the last couple of years. Now he is, and I, you know, that would have been interesting to talk to him about the ride that he's on. And uh, instead, he's like, "You sent me too many tweets that hurt my feelings, and I don't want to be a part of your show." And I don't get it. Get that many well, tweets I'm, every day, Odor. Yeah, I, I'm sorry I hurt his feelings. Hodor That's how should I read feel, my but... Twitter message. You're the worst character, Hodor. You're the worst. <laughs> my... We all know you're going to die soon. My Twitter message is like, fat fuck, fat fuck, fat fuck. It just rolls down. Yeah, see, I'd much rather get the kind of spam that Woody gets with the whole people liking his videos thing. Hodor's character could easily be replaced by a donkey that talks. <laughs> Does Hodor actually sound like Mongo from Blazing Saddles? 
Like, uh, sometimes Hodor Anakin. sound like Mongo from Blazing Saddles. <laughs> <laughs> um, I am totally waking up. I could, I was barely conscious before the show, but I'm bouncing off the walls right now, baby. It's got new Gamma Labs watermelon flavor. Check them out. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> All right. You'll see. All right. Yeah, so I heard Hodor's feelings. I I want to give him a hard time, but I don't have it in me. Nah, but... nah. We'll leave Hodor out of this, but, you know, he, he, we all know he kind of bitched out. Yeah, you, know, it's, you tell it's, him. It's cool. It's cool. We're not mad, but we all know Hodor kind of bitched out. And Go ahead. Tweet him. So you missed your chance, baby. You, you could have been on PKA. <laughs> Let it be known throughout the land that Hodor is now a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> throughout the kingdom. Oh, All man. seven kingdoms. Is that is that the thing? Okay. Let it be known. <laughs> let it be let it be known, let it be said. Have we just gone to, to war with Island. Hodor? <laughs> we have, I think we declared. I gotta say, this is the best Game of Thrones talk I've ever been a part of. That's <laughs> <laughs> because you just get to talk shit. You don't have to know anything about it. Which is great. I'm in the same episode. boat because I know <laughs> yeah, nothing about yes. the show, but I, mean, I have to talk watched we were. every it's... show multiple times. I've seen too, every yeah. episode of Game of Thrones. I will watch an episode, worry that I didn't fully absorb all the details of the interrelationships between the characters, and watch it back to back. And then every time we talk about Game of Thrones, they're like, Woody doesn't know shit. Does he even realize it was a book first? Yes, I know, motherfuckers! Everybody knows it was <laughs> a book. Are, movies are more enjoyable and easier to digest. <laughs> Let me ask you guys this. Let me ask you guys this. If we were, in fact, in the time of the books and Hodor had turned us down, what would our recourse be? Because this would be a great four dishonor. Horsemen. It would be Four Horsemen style. We'd go r- riding up on his shit Whoa. on some horses. Right with his medieval times we're talking, right? Yes. Talking about riding Robert. in like William Wallace while he's sleeping in his bed, hitting with a no, mate. No, no, like, like if this were, we were all Game of Thrones characters, and we had invited Hodor to our gathering, and he had turned us down because we sent too many fucking messengers or something, just because we were pumped to see him. Too many town criers showed up? Yeah, well, yeah, like eight messengers many. showed up, and we're like, he really wants you to come, and he got pissed off and turned us down, so now we gotta fuck him up. We tie him to a chair. We eat sausage in front of him while threatening penile um, dismemberment, mm, mm. and then cut off his pinky finger and let him roll. Ooh. Yes. No. No. We torture his pinky finger until he begs I us say to cut it off. I feel like there's oh. going to be like, repercussions if I do. <laughs> oh no, wings! It, uh, there won't be any repercussions. I'm sure. <laughs> there never are. No. This is this is probably the greatest thing you have ever said. Know, freedom freedom, freedom of right speech now. has been very very taxed lately. Freedom of speech is yours has been? No, oh. no, no. Like online, like you had the guy going to jail and stuff like that. Cause see, I, oh, like, yeah. I'm just gonna say it. Maybe you guys are, should like video clip some of this or Hodor and send it to him on his Twitter. No, no, we shouldn't do that because we're just joking around. Cause Hodor's an, a fucking actor that we all admire. We're just a little bummed out that he took our request the wrong way, man. That's... We're not gonna torture Hodor. I don't admire him, but I, I don't want to kill him either. So you lefty, you straighten up and admire him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Hodor, Christian, Irish man that I don't he know. He admires you. You do damn well better. That's a big dude. He's a, he seems like he, he, so see. apparently he turned down our PKA because we hurt his feelings. Really? We sent yeah. him too many tweets. Aww. Aww. Big That's dude's feelings it. got hurt. If, if people haven't been following this very well, I asked people to tweet him. He got too many tweets, and now he's really angry with the show and me in particular. And I did not realize that sending lots of tweets was an act of aggression. So we extend the invitation, Hodor. If you're angry and you want to talk about it, you can be on, P- on PK next week. Yeah, come on, PK, and talk shit. Be like, you, like come on, just to, to, to vent about how angry you are that you it got It will so be a 4v1, but... Yeah, and tell us I about the Frost Giants, it. man. Come on. <laughs> we all want to know... <laughs> So wait, who's this little person he's carrying on his back? What is this all about? I don't that person, worry about that. Hodor. That person in the for, maybe the very first episode of the whole thing was pushed out of a castle window, and now he can't walk. By so, an incestuous swordsman. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Okay. But really in his defense, his sister's hot, so she's smoking fucking yeah, hot. Yeah. We all do it. Yeah. <laughs> if, if you're not hitting that, I'm back in five percent off your gay straight ratio. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> that that would bring a Wings of Redemption up to a solid 20%. Because <laughs> he likes that pretty penis in his form. Okay. 
Oh, so anyway, a... yeah. Not a little guy, the young man. Rides Hodor everywhere. Hmm. They actually built a saddle for him. It's pretty cool. I was a little jealous at first because I've always wanted to be in one of those. Uh, you ever see the ones that where the baby faces you? <coughs> mm-hmm. Or like faces away from you, I, rather, you know, strap your chest. I always thought it'd be cool if like a really giant dude was carrying me around. Dude, I'll do it. Fuck it. We'll go to VidCon. I'll get some oversized baby Bjorn and I'll carry you around for as long as I can. <laughs> I would. My legs would literally be dragging next to your ankles. I accept your terms. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> it would. It you could you could probably like bungee cord my my shins to your shins and we and you could just walk me around like a puppet. <laughs> this would be you awesome. Could, you could be like a Kyle puppet. <laughs> or no, I would be a Woody puppet. That sounds. That's much weirder. To my ear, yeah, I like this. This is, this sounds like a Comic Con idea. <laughs> That's right. I could strap <laughs> you on me, and then I could go as you. <laughs> 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 this is my FPS Kyle cosplay. That's and... so morbid. <laughs> it wasn't morbid in my head. It was. Yeah, wait until one of you has to pee. You were gonna be like <laughs> telling be jokes and stuff. No, right? in my. I'm like I'm like lifeless and limp, and you just got you like literally killed me and you strapped me to your no, front. I picture you as a marionette that's like strangely animated. Oh, okay. Uh, that's uh, that's much more bizarre, actually. It know. is more bizarre. That. I'll give you that. Yeah. All right. What? Pretty... Um. If you were gonna make Wings of Redemption into a toy, what kind of toy would it be? Stretch Armstrong. Teddy bear. A teddy bear, and um, his beard would be extra bushy in plush form. I would make him look like a uh, uh, a Mister Operation or whatever, and uh, there would be some <laughs> sort of there would be some sort of game mechanic where every time you made a mistake, um, like his heart inflated, and finally when the heart got big enough, you like smashed it, and like his arms and legs shot off, and like fists in every direction. It could be some sort of board game like Mousetrap. Where you construct this giant thing, and then at the end, it hurls a controller across the room. Yes, I like that. <laughs> you just build the no, robotic I, arm. I, and... I imagined winning sort of as a Stretch Armstrong as well, or maybe a multi armed um, Slinky Man. I'm you think sure. of the bushy beard? Do you remember those wrestling dolls like way back when we were children? That were like Hulk Hogan and Ultimate Warrior. So when I was yeah, a they're kid, like, they're like I played dolls. my abacus and I liked it. It, it was Macho Man only at my house. Yeah, because they had Macho Man, they had Sting, they had the Ultimate Warrior, Big Boss Man, uh, Hulk Hogan. Cool dolls. They were. Yeah, those. They, they I were. bet they're worth a good bit of money now because nobody collected those things. I I think that's why they're not worth any money. Yeah. <laughs> They're like Beanie Babies. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's worth $875. Yeah, go make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking dare you. <laughs> you start um, hitting some little kid up for $875, you have had a bad day. That Beanie Baby is not going to sell. gay and stalkerish, but there's UFC dolls, and if there was a Joe Lozon, I'd pick it up. Oh, hell, is, oh yeah. That is gay and stalkerish. Yeah, you're yeah. right. Yeah. <laughs> You but called it, that one. Nah, <laughs> no. <nailed it. laughs> no, I would totally buy. I would, I would so buy the Joe Lozon doll. They're yeah, missing anyone out on I knew who had been made into an action figure, I would want to own said action figure. Woody, would you actually be able to beat up this doll, unlike the actual Joe Lozon? I really doubt it. <laughs> <laughs> you should, you should figure make a video of you pile driving it or something. <laughs> yeah, just make like a vine and send it to him. Like you bossing it around and talking shit and stuff. I saw... um. I forget if it was Rampage or Rashad Evans, but they were showing their action figure, and it looks exactly like the other one. Like, like Rashad Evans, like, this is my action figure. I think they just reused Rampage. <laughs> you know, like, <laughs> they, just, they just changed the box to the background. That's fucked up. Oh, man. That's um, one of the f- most fucked up things I've ever heard. I have, they were black. Yeah, they're, they're like, ah, they're, you know, strong black guys. They're all the same. That's yeah, that'll get made into a ten minute loop. You guys need a new yeah, topic? I wasn't touching that with a ten foot pole. I, talk, I was I not talking about the guy that paid his uh his settlement with four tons of quarters. Oh, the guy that paid repaid his insurance settlement? Yeah. Yeah. Well tell us the story, Wings. What's the deal? 
What's well, up? apparently a guy, got, his son got into a car wreck in 2001, and he got a sum of $1.6 million plus an additional 800000 from his own insurance. Well, basically they went back to court and did an appeal, and he, the judge ordered him to pay back 500000 of the money. And he was upset, so he decided to pay back pay it back in quarters, which rivaled four tons of actual quarters in fifty dollar bags. And the problem is that the place where he sent the money to doesn't have a safe big enough to fit a truckload of quarters, and they're on the news. Are you sure they were fifty dollar bags? That's what the that's what the ad says. Because a roll of quarters is ten. It might it might have been so five hundred. I, yeah, I think a roll of quarters is I could is hold 25. fifty dollars worth of quarters in my palm. Uh, let me re- read back to the article. Yeah, I, th- I think a roll of quarters is $25, isn't it? Or is it 20 Isn't it 100 coins? These are all loose quarters, though. It's 40 coins, right? 40 yeah, coins. Yeah, 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 of course, of course, of course. Yeah. So you're not getting 100 percent. I saw the bags. They, they were like, I saw the picture. They that were was about, 50 pounds like by this. quarters per sack, not $50. Oh, okay. That, that makes more sense. Still a lot of damn quarters. Yeah, they picked them up from like the mint in uh, St. Louis, or some depository in St. Louis, and they St. Louis and they picked them all up and what? sent them to the. How did they make the that happen? Office. I don't know because that's a badass way to pay a bill that you find unjust. I agree. I would I would take the time if it wasn't too far to go pick up the pennies to pay my internet bill every month. And I'll show up at that motherfucking place. Dude, I, just... I find it bullshit that they can deny payment if you pay him. They cannot deny payment. You call a cop and he shows up. It's legal tender. They have to fucking take it. I mean, I've seen people try to. I've seen the. I've seen the fucking cops try to deny it. Well, man. Well, then you've got. Uh, then you've got bigger problems. Wait, you just I, I just got paying. distracted. You want to pay your bills in pennies? Yes, I, I'd I've love to pay mine. Well, my internet bill did sound really cool this week, but. I'd love to pay some of my bills and pennies. That I, I feel saw like a guy fun. get his car towed, and he felt like it was unjust. It was, and the fee was like two hundred and thirty or something, if I recall. And he did a YouTube video where he paid it back in pennies, and they wouldn't accept it. And they're like, you know, pay this. We're gonna call the police, etc. And he's like, call the police. So they called the police, and the cop, who I don't know if he was right or not, but his interpretation of this whole deal was, you have to accept the pennies. <laughs> so they and their pennies weren't organized or in rolls or anything like that. It was literally like piles of pennies in like yeah, they had to count them. Yeah, and they just they <laughs> but apparently they knew how much it was and they just gave them two hundred dollars worth of pennies and forced them to accept it and they got their car back. It's a good he YouTube probably, video. He probably did the asshole thing. He went and got the pennies that were rolled from the bank and then busted them open and poured them into a box. Might that would be funny. I have a topic. Have you guys ever seen GamerFury.tumblr.com? Never. No. Are you familiar with the site Tumblr? Because it's spelled funny. Yes. T-U-M-B-L-R. There's no E. Gamer Fury. And I'll link it in there. I just wanted everyone who's watching along to be able to see it. Mm-hmm. Um, although I imagine they're sitting there watching Yellow's videos at this point. Well, they should be, because if you want to see Half-Life 3 confirmed and Left 4 Dead 3 all running on the PlayStation 4 and Xbox One where you got to go. Yeah, if you're not watching his videos and fully erect at this point, <laughs> something is wrong, my friends. Something is yes. wrong. I believe he has a pop filter on his microphone as well. So that's elite oh, shit right there. That, that, oh, that is the uh, benchmark of success. <laughs> um, yeah, so these are all the tweets that David Vondahar has had. And you should see these things. It's like, Fix the snipers or I'll fucking kill you. Vonderfag. Hashtag Vonderfag. <laughs> I want to kill you in your sleep for what you did by Rashid Nikan. I will fucking kill you. Give me back my rank one. Best, I will fuck your slit throat. <laughs> what is your problem? Genesis Gunner. Uh, you're a fucking cunt. Why the fuck would you patch the snipers, you stupid bald fucking piece of shit? Go die. There are just pages of this stuff. You are the most hated bald cunt in this community. I hope you fall down the stairs. Your egg bald, you egghead egg head. bald, egghead. Thank you, egghead bald, specky cunt. I don't know what a specky cunt is. Sounds like they have to their on soul it. game like up. I will rape your wife and kids so fucking hard by Skills Gaming HD. 
Oh, that's all classy. That's class right oh, there. That's... Dude, this guy, I think, <laughs> fucking cunt, I'm going to rape your family and give them AIDS in their ash lock, Jude, by Sherratt. <laughs> Look out, Jude Law. He's coming for you next. <laughs> I will find you, Vondahar, and I will kill you. Like, this goes on and on. I'm a little embarrassed. This oh, here's a tweet community. from Riley Cooper. Fix the snipers, you nigger-ass nigga bitch. <laughs> Niger ass fa- fag face nigger ass dickweed nigger. Please, Riley cut Cooper off the... also plays Call of Duty. Please cut off the. Let Here's me, a tweet from Riley Cooper. <laughs> Someone get a remix of that cooking. The video's R- coming R- R- tomorrow. Remix. That's, the... That's from Swag in a Bottle, not me. <laughs> Oh, my. Oh, the 10-hour loop of Lefty's racism. <laughs> <laughs> I, somehow I skipped over that. The next one was in a much bigger font, which is why mm-hmm. I think I skipped it. But that one was perfect for you, Lefty. Yeah. <laughs> I, I turned it into a Riley Cooper joke. So oh, I really get it. I didn't, who is Riley Cooper? Can you explain the reference? Uh, the Eagles wide receiver who <laughs> a video oh. was published online. He was at a Kenny Chesney con- or some cracker-ass music and concert and he was like I'll now you go. hate white people what is wrong with you i hate country music stop c- playing country music yeah i'm with left here i don't like rednecks either like I, it's the same song over and over and over again and yes i understand you can say that for a lot of music say that about that too but i've listened to country and it's just the same song over and over and over it's about again. drinking and driving on the back roads and that they're happy that yeah. they're country i know oh, I, I can't stand when you refer to yourself as country that's stupid like an Ethiopian could explain to himself, I'm hungry. How are they the same thing? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, they are no, in no way the same thing in any universe or galaxy or alternate dimension. Now, come on. No, go ahead, Wiggs. I don't, I don't think I'm it keeping may... up with your wisdom. You're like, no. you're sharp tonight, Mr. Chink in, in, in PKA's armor. But... Yeah, you had two. You had two good moments, and then whoa, that's a car down a cliff on fire. Yeah, you were heat. You were heating up. You were ready to get on fire and just start draining threes on people. But you just, ah, uh, yeah. You... It's sudden. Okay, but what we, what was the thought process on? Well, the thought process was this: like, you know, people refer to yourself as country, and then like I wanted to do something extremely like racial sensitive and derogative, like Ethiopian people, and like they they claiming that they can't eat. Like it's just it's just this way of life. Like around here, when you say I'm country, I live in the country, mm-hmm. and I don't consider myself country. But a lot of people consider it like a way of life, whereas like Ethiopians are always starving, so they consider that a way of life. That was the thought process behind that. Yeah. All right. Now, now that I fully understand what you were thinking, it doesn't make any more sense. No. no, no, no. <laughs> well, I, I think I get what he was trying to go for. I was afraid that you guys were gonna buy that. <laughs> And I was gonna be left alone. Like he's making he's making a pretty good argument here. They're gonna buy this bullshit. <laughs> and I'm a little stuck on this. Like so, uh, on on, I see these people making these ridiculous comments towards Vondahar, and I want to be like, don't you think this is bad? But I'm not sure it's that interesting because there's nobody on the other side of this argument. Anyone who thinks it's okay to threaten rape and murder to Vondahar because he nerfed the smi- snipers is from Crazy Town. Uh, you know what was even more crazier? They're complaining because they can't get an on-screen triple. I mean, quad. I'm sorry. <laughs> I I've had Dude. threats like this. Heck, I, I mean, how long has it been since I've been called like a rapist, pedo, whatever? That number is always measured in hours. Like, I bet I've had four of these today. <laughs> you know, in this class of comments, like I'm gonna rape you, I'm gonna kill you. Stuff about me. I'm, every day I'm banning. Hey, WoodyCraft.net. I don't know if I've mentioned it on my channel yet. I have this new Minecraft server seeing. <laughs> and uh, every day on there, you know, someone's getting banned for threatening to kill me. And uh, it's crazy talk. What? I got. I think I got called fat today. I might have. Might have. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you know. I just so, want. I, what is this guy's name? Hold on. Can, can I just read this off and just whoa, somebody one, chew on it for a bit? I'm sorry. One moment. Did Wing, Wings did you get your scale yet? What you say? Did you receive your scale Ooh, in the mail? No, I haven't got it yet. How the bullshit! You ordered that thing Kick. like two weeks ago from Amazon. Huh. Yeah, but see, I I got it on the uh, over the ground crap. Yeah, but ground is like two weeks max. It's it only eight to sixteen was business it days. Same continent, like. I don't know where yeah, it's Chinese from. scale. So they're sending it to South America first. I don't Buy know where it is. It said eight to sixteen business days. Holy shit! Screenshot. 
Really? Let me see it. Wow. Yeah, I don't know about this. I don't know if I believe it. Yeah. Right. Found it. Go to right, I'm gonna read off this Twitter handle really quick, and I and I want somebody to tell me what this guy says his name. What what his name is supposed to be? X four Z three R O Z Z A Y. What in the what? What did he say? Hmm. Oh, what did he say to Dave Vonderhaar? This is from the Tumblr thing. Uh, I fucking hate you for nerfing snipers. I will find you and fucking murder you if you don't change snipers back, fag. These are all these are all thoughtless. So I a mean, four like... is an A in lead speak, and a three is an E. Okay. So it's X A Z E Raze. Zay's Raze. I mean, if I be phase. But it, it's. It's an X though. If it started with an F. Yeah, but like X is usually like the placeholder for something random. So it's A's Raze? A's Raze? Is it like a wild card? Does he, Since like, he wrote, I effing hate you for nerfing snipers, I will find you and fucking murder you if you don't change snipers back, fag. He might be retarded. <laughs> you know, there's, there's a chance this guy's got something wrong with him. I'm going to place the over-under on his age at 13 and a half. I shouldn't have gone with retarded. He might be crazy. I wish I had said that. But, um, yeah, he's he's... Not a good person. You know, I feel bad for David Von Because right. when I was, like, heavy into Call of Duty, I would, like, I, I, I wouldn't be to, the, to this level, but I was a dick to the guy. And now I really? realize, just reading this, well, I mean, I was like, you know, you have no idea what you're doing. This is wrong. This is whatever. Really? Yeah. No, I, I, I don't feel bad for him. I feel a kinship with him. I want to see him and be like, <laughs> You know, bump it on this <laughs> like un, uh, not unnecessarily like it, uh, irrationally hated bro. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> you and I irrationally hated. I see where you're coming from. Um, like, uh, uh, there's a guy making videos about me for not helping out enough small channels, right? And I think I've helped out more small channels than any major YouTuber. Uh, Wings is up there a lot. I'm not a major YouTuber, so I don't fall in this category. All right, then. But, like, I don't see them hazing the other million sub channels for not helping out small people all the time. And mm -hmm. we have small channels on PKA all the time. Uh, I had, like, 160-some people. I think that's right. No. Lefty is a lefty was a small channel before he began. Started. There's lots of people on PKA who've done that. Mm -hmm. Like I, I could go down the list. All the people I've had. Well, you had an entire with. thing devoted to, to uh, helping smaller YouTubers. Yeah, it was a commentator March Madness, right? That yeah. Was, there's like 68 channels right there, and almost all the small channels I've helped have like come back and stabbed me in the back. And I did. A, I mentioned it in a video today. It was like. <laughs> I like I to helped point them. Mr. 360 Beast as an honorary Mr. 360 Beast topics. is the first one to have ever done it. I did a dual, and I swear, like, this is way back in the start. I had 8,000 subs, and he had, like, 3,000. He's like, you want to do a dual com? I'm like, yeah, sure. I do a dual com with him. I pimp him out, so you guys should check out his channel. I upload it. Three months later, he's hating me. Fucking Woody. Oh, he forgot his there's, roots. And then there's that asshole, which I'm not going to name, that, sit there, that was bigger than Mr. 360 Beast that tried to get his message out. Fuck him, too. I don't, I, I don't know who you're thinking of. I will I will text it to you, but just don't say it. Okay. Um, yeah, so anyway, and then this guy's like, you know, what do you forgot? We can't. And my analogy was this. Imagine that, oh, okay, that guy, he's a professional <laughs> hater. Um, <laughs> does he still make videos? Uh, he does. <laughs> so anyway, it's like, let's say I helped you move into your house, right? I help you move into your house. I help you grow. I help you do your thing. And then, you know, three months goes by. We're not really talking. All of a sudden, they're like, fucking Woody. He hasn't helped me clean since I got here. You know, what's his problem? I've been living in this house the whole time. Woody's not helping me clean. Why isn't he promoting me on it? Like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. You do you. Stop uh, Stop putting your hand out constantly and then stabbing me in the back when I'm not putting, when I'm not greasing it. Let me ask you this question. Do you think uh, that, that, uh, that one dude that just created the bum video stole our idea? No. No, absolutely not. It's still our idea. It's it's a different premise. They just helped a bum out. There's always going to be people always oh. say that, and it's really dumb. There's always going to be someone who's who's like taking care of a homeless person, who's like you know goodwill charity, all that sort of thing. That happens all the time. But is this the the homeless guy with the mustache? No, it's a different one. Somebody else did something nice for some homeless people, but but it's not stealing the idea now. The guy spent like a thousand bucks on a homeless person, took him out to eat, bought him some clothes, that whole yeah. nine. But I, yeah, I, it didn't. 
you have to you have to completely take advantage of the homeless person to make my show. Yeah. You have yeah. to All you right, have to turn him into basically an animal and and go from there. Yeah. Can we can we, can we go down this venture a little bit? Because I like to talk a little bit about this video. Yeah, I, no. We can't. Okay. Yeah. Cause, okay. Uh, Kyle's idea for giving the homeless guy money wasn't to help the homeless guy get back on his feet, which is yeah. what it sounds like this other video did. Kyle wants to see him flop. That's where the that's where the the show is <laughs> right there. Like it, we could walk him in front of a. Uh, like an ABC, ABC store. liquor store or something, right? For people who aren't American, ABC stands for Alcoholic Beverage Control. And in a lot of states, you can only buy alcohol from certain stores. So, like, you could put them in front of an ABC, give them a thousand dollars, and then just see what happens. Until someone does that, they haven't stolen the concept. Yeah, the the idea is to see is to take someone who's been in a situation of complete. They've, they've had a complete lack of you know choices like that, and all of a sudden now, now all of a sudden they're given lots of choices. They went from no choices to lots of choices, and to mm -hmm. see which one, how they'll prioritize their uh, their time and their money. Right. If you gave me a thousand, it'd be the boringest show ever. I'd just make a deposit and then get back to work. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I, not even that. I, I, I'd be I'd put it in my wallet, and you know, I'll get to this when the, whenever yeah. I get paid next. Go see your financial advisor. Kyle, goes Kyle to would put it in his wallet, and then suddenly, for some reason, he'd be walking around with twenty-one thousand, <laughs> and that would be that. Go see your I'm, financial. I'm gonna go down this show. market accounts. I don't know if anybody else in this call has actually seen the video. It seems like Kyle has, but like, I want to feel like he done nothing for this homeless man. To be perfectly honest, I mean, yes, he spent a thousand bucks. Yes, he got him off the streets for a couple nights, but like, new clothes in herself. You see a homeless man in brand new clothes, you're not going to give him money. Like he didn't really give him any like cash to live off of. What he basically did was give him new clothes, new backpacks to make him look like he isn't homeless. Like two days later, after he gets out of that hotel, he's going to be a homeless guy with a haircut and a fresh new jacket, and he's going to be out there panhandling again because he has got no money. He's going to eat that night because you want to eat every day of the of, of, of the year. Mm -hmm. At least I try to eat every day of the year. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> you try a little harder than most. <laughs> I eat several times a day. Yeah, yeah and like he's probably yeah. going to eat several times a day too. But see, he's got a brand new shirt and a new backpack. Who's going to give that guy money? I don't know, man. I, it, it, but maybe we can't solve his problem, but you can at least make his problem. I mean, a I think bit more I, I feel like they should have did more with actually trying to help the guy out. Like, I feel like this they is did even less Woody than talking? twenty seconds of actually <laughs> giving his job skills out. Maybe took him to a job interview. Maybe like uh, got a game to a but halfway house. Wings, Wings, your your logic here is exactly the logic that people use to attack people like Woody when they try to help out a smaller channel. I'm not I'm not attacking. I'm not even said his YouTube channel name. Why? Well, no, I'm just no no no. Yeah, no, you're no, no, suggesting I'm, I'm talking that his help about... wasn't like the proper help. Right, you're an outsider saying, oh, but, I see person but, A but, help but, person but, B, but that's not enough. Let me tell you how it's different, though, Lefty. Let me tell you how it's different. They're calling Woody a faggot for not helping out smaller channels. When in reality, they should call me I'm that. looking at it like I've this. He's men. getting all this praise for helping a homeless man out, mm -hmm. but he really didn't help him out at all. Um, well, I, I mean, but just res remove the monikers. Just remove, you know, reduce it down to... Person A helps person B. And then an outside observer says, person A didn't do enough, therefore the praise person anything, A receiving though. is He basically fed the man unwarranted. a new pair of cloth to put over his shoulders. Yeah, but for a homeless guy that doesn't know where his next meal is coming from, getting a meal and new clothes is probably a pretty big damn deal. And I'm trying to say that new clothes is probably going to hurt him. How? Did the homeless guy complain? Because the, the homeless man pretty much lives off of panhandling. Kyle, if you've seen a guy come up to you with <laughs> a nice new car in a brand new shirt, brand new jeans, fresh haircut, smelling good, and like, hey, man, I've been homeless for, for two years. I mean, I can't find no work. Could you maybe spare some change? He'd be like, fuck you, buddy. You'd be you trying, think to, you trying would, to get some money off me. Do you think you would make a good uh, panhandler? Would I make a good panhandler? No. You don't think so? No, no, no Wiggs, you could probably sling some bullshit. And get no, 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 I'd be a... broken fucking store window. I'd be going straight to jail. I ain't going to sit out in the cold. Straight to jail. <laughs> <clears throat> what would I do? Wiggs is at his first appearance with the judge. Like, yes, just whatever. Whatever, just throw me in jail. Just give yeah. me jail time. So, like, Sir, we're not were... even at the arraignment yet. He's like, no, 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 just jail, please. 
if you go to jail, right, there's, like, general population, and that's where all the tough guys are and stuff. And then don't they, like, separate all the child molesters and put them in their own place? This is crazy, but doesn't it even seem like that would be the more pleasant area to be in? I picture a bunch yeah, of, like... Yeah, child molesters are more sexual based, not violent creatures. I, I see them as non-violent, kind of frail, pasty-skinned, 45-year-old predators who I would not be scared of compared to, you know, Captain Weightlifter over there who just wants to tear me a larger rear end, put a lock in a yeah. sock and, and bust my head. That sounds terrible. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, that's in like big cities, like country towns. Well, country towns, your church most likely going to help you out. But like, I just don't see sleeping out in like 40 degree weather. Or even worse, like higher up in New York City where it might get like, you know, zero. zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude, I, I like, went off-roading in Pennsylvania. I'd rather go to jail. There's this run called the Frosty Balls Run. And uh, like it, so I'm from North Carolina. And if you don't know U.S. geography, North Carolina is fairly warm. I go to Pennsylvania in the wintertime in, in January and it's cold. I'm like, how, like, how cold is it out? And they're like, the temperature is one. Like one? That's a, that's a temperature? That's not a fucking temperature. <laughs> like, that's not a temperature that occurs in nature. What is freezing? And, and this is Fahrenheit, by the way. So I don't know what the equivalent in Celsius is, but probably something like negative 12. I'm, I'm not even sure. But I hated those conversions. Yeah. Yeah. So 32 is zero in, in Celsius. And beyond that, I don't know. Probably something like negative 12. It's cold. It's not even a temperature that humans should be in. I just don't understand why homeless people don't try to go to jail. Maybe it's Captain Weightlifter. I don't want to meet him. Okay. Well, if all the homeless people go to jail, they can they can double team Captain Weightlifter. They could they can make their own gang, right? They'll, they'll be like yeah. the skills. <laughs> <laughs> their vulnerability will be grabbing them by their super long beards and <laughs> dragging their head around. <laughs> you got like scrawny men that hadn't eaten three or four days that smell bad and Captain Weightlifter is coming in off the titty bar after he busts <laughs> the man's head. They somehow work the system to get like, you know, seven layers of prison jumpers they can wear around <laughs> everywhere, you know, dressed in their orange. <laughs> uh, wings on the painkiller already subreddit, uh, collectively and um, lovingly known as the Fucknards. They had an idea for a series for you. Are you ready? They want oh, you to do... It's going to be spectacular. It's, oh, it's, this is the best idea ever. They want you to do Road to Microwave Dish, right? So, so picture like your first video where you go up to the microwave, maybe get the door open, put the dish in, and then quit right there. And not, and not get that far. And come back later, like a, you know, series number two or video number two in the series, press a couple buttons, never quite get all the way to start. And, and you can do road to a microwave dish. What do you think? I think it's a good idea. <laughs> you think it's good? See, now you say this, and then and they're going to expect you to do it. And then yeah, when you see, don't do here, it... Here's the thing, here's the thing, Lefty. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm saying it's a good idea so they can get all excited so I can let them down because I fucking hate the fuck jars. <laughs> the fuck nards. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> uh, no. Oh... Uh. <sighs> That's that, I, okay, I mean, just yeah. understand. I mean, they'll just understand. Like, they're just gonna talk shit like they've been talking shit. They can't do no worse. Everybody <laughs> takes a turn. I think I was first, right? It used to be they loved everything about the show except mm -hmm. me. It was like everyone was so talented and wonderful, and Woody's like dragging <laughs> yeah. them down. They're like politicians. They're flip floppers. <laughs> oh yeah. And now you they interrupted all, all the time. You interrupted everybody. You ended the I show. Anyway, I when I was growing up, out. we had a word for what you are. It's called bandwagon bitch. Oh, God. Wings, Is it I watched, time? I watched a video of yours, Wings, and you said that painkiller already messes up your sleep schedule for the week. It does. All right. How, That's a load let me of ask you this, shit. Wings. <laughs> That's a load of That's not a lot of how, Let me explain. How late does painkiller already usually keep you up till? About three in the morning. Why? How is that possible? Well, what are you, you doing you two already, hours after the show ends? Standard time here. Painkiller uh -huh. already usually lasts about 1, one thirty. And at that point, I'm usually wide awake because I've been talking and laughing and things like That's that. That's not true. You fall so it takes me an hour to have to. <laughs> yeah, but, but but the show only keeps you up till one thirty. 
Yeah, or one. you got to unwind. I, I'm not but in your video, you said like four or five in the morning. Sometimes that happens. Sometimes I, I'm fully wide awake at the end of the show. But that's you being awake. That's not the show per se. Yeah. Here, here's the thing. <laughs> The show let, let, actually the keeps let me, let me up me. for that long. I am actually rendering it, and then after the render's done, I wake up again and I kick off the upload, and then I'll kick off the upload at like 4 a.m., and then I set my alarm for like 8 a.m. so I can get the annotation set before it goes live. Let me, let me, go, let me go ahead and my see this in my uh, defense. I am a night person. I am. I've My entire life, I've either worked somewhere that involved the night shift, Mm-hmm. At Domino's Pizza, I worked on the. I worked from like four to like two in the morning. At Meglass, I worked from seven at night to seven in the morning. So my body naturally adjusts to being awake at night and sleeping during the day. So I don't get sleepy at night. I get sleepy mainly during the day. So then that sounds like those previous, the the fault your your the the fault of your sleep schedule being easily screwed up sounds like it's it lies with those previous two jobs and not PKA. I think PKA, there are... whenever I get a regular schedule, I get to the point where I'm up at night. Usually when I'm on a regular schedule, I go to bed like eight 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 uh, right as soon as it gets night eight a.m. somewhere at ballpark, and my body starts to get sleepy, so I go to sleep there and I wake up like seven in the morning, but then PKA rolls around. I have to do late at night to late at night, and then I'm up again. Here's the thing. And then it fucks me up for the next week. You made the video on a Wednesday, and you were going to bed at 5 p.m. on a Wednesday. And (laughs) there are tens of millions, if not hundreds of millions of people who sometimes get home at 1 a.m. on a Friday night and are not going to bed at 5 p.m. on a Wednesday. Like, I watched your video, and I felt personally responsible. Like, Like, it's Woody's fault that I'm up, I'm going to bed at 5 p.m. on Wednesdays because he kept me up till 1 on a Friday. And it's not my fault. It takes me a while to readjust. I can't. I just can't do it. Like um, like today. I, today I was up till what time? 3 o'clock? About 3 o'clock. Yeah, 3 o'clock. 3 o'clock is when I, I decided to lay down. But see, I, I can't go to sleep as soon as I lay down. I have to watch something. So what, like you today wait I watch Lost. 3 p.m.? I went to bed at 3 p.m. I laid down at 3 p.m. I fell asleep probably about 4:15. Is this pain? And then I set my alarm clock for 7:50. <laughs> and this, I was, that is from the previous. Actually, this is from two weeks ago. So wait, are what, you really talking about like the butterfly effect of, from a peak <laughs> A from two weeks ago and the impact that had on your sleep schedule? Well, well my schedule is so fluffed up now. Like I used to it's slowly okay. readjusting itself. All like, right, really I, slow I, clock. Okay, Somebody watching this. I mean, you used to go to bed at like 10 in the morning. And you're doing the show at home, right? So imagine going out at night on Friday, getting home at 1, and then claiming that two weeks later your sleep schedule is still messed up from that. It's so crazy. It's not true. It, it's, it sounds crazy, but that's that's where I'm at. <laughs> I, You know what? I, I It's to the point you're arguing it so passionately that i i can't really disagree okay all right that's it's the way like, it is i got there's something about this i that... mean there's other things that that contribute to it like today i stayed up so late because i wanted to get my final fantasy video out and i wanted to stay up even later but i couldn't because cause i wanted to do the third video t- today which i missed because it was like two in that it, i was like falling down sleepy because mm-hmm. you know gotta wait on render time gotta wait on upload times so it's been a week since you promised the knife fight sharpie thing. How come you dug your feet, your heels in the homeboy, sand? Home, I've been sleeping all day, and homeboy <laughs> has been working all night. Kelly is selling you your ass out behind yeah. you. No, yeah. he's not selling me out. Kelly, have, have you, how often have we been away? <laughs> no, no. In all seriousness, by the time I get back here, my ass is so run down tired from working that – I'm I'm usually out by like two thirty, and then by the time he gets he goes to sleep and I wake up, we're hitting the door to go try to you know take care of some stuff and then go to work. They, they wake up at eight a.m. and they're they're out the house and they come back at like eleven p.m. that night, and I'm usually in I usually go to bed around eleven a.m. in the morning and I wake up at like seven p.m. that night. And what day is this? Like all week? It's Wednesday. No, it's, okay, it's Friday. Friday. I Friday? find it. I, it's Friday. No, no. It's what Friday. day is it we're talking about? Because I find it hard to believe that this man makes it up at 8 a.m. knowing that he attended a painkiller already last week. <laughs> He's trying to, make, trying to think the thing that he's doing on painkiller already. 
you can have to fuck your schedule up, but it's <laughs> fuck mine up. Listen, <laughs> listen, my sleep more. schedule is completely and utterly fucked up right now because of other things, not because of PKA. <laughs> I feel you, brother. It's the sex life. Right? He's not helping your cause. He's not helping your cause. <laughs> well, the fact is, we haven't got, we haven't both been awake at the same time with light out. Yeah, I mean, honestly, to do the video. Like, the most we saw each other was about him grunting at me. And then going to bed, and then I jumped on his computer, and well, who had to go to the bathroom to the wash sharpies. up? I, I get who it. thinks this needs to happen? I'm seeing two enemy combatants well, it's just you and on me, my Woody. screen right now. Where's Kyle? Oh, he wrote BRB. In said, the chat. I think he had to go to the bathroom. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like a go, mop. Go take a tinkle. <clears throat> two hit, and then do a full one later. Uh, well, I wanted to do the uh, the knife video with the uh, sharpie with the T-shirt. Yeah, well, I mean, we can do, like, a, a two-hit match right now, and then we can do a full one later. Make it happen. Dude, I like Kelly. He's the voice of reason. I, yes. like I don't want to do it in this room because of all the damn electronics. Uh, I can see that. I mean, There's not much room, and, and it's going to be like Godzilla versus Mothra if we get up and do this. <laughs> literally. Here, okay? they, they... <laughs> Roll the chairs yeah, out I'm of not the a, room. We're not exactly the smallest people. You we're not exactly chairs. agile either. <laughs> you have I mean, two... look at your leg. Bring your leg up here. The other leg. Oh, you don't got to rap no more? No. I... Man's got an ankle injury, too, so he's going to have a disadvantage when I whoop his ass. That's what he Kelly, says. Kelly, you going to take that? <laughs> Move the chairs yeah, out. Kelly, you should, you your should room. stand for that. And the exercise Wait, bike is gone. There's a Z on his chest from my hitting him three times on the video. Y'all know who is a better knife fighter. I don't know what you guys do. I think if you move the chairs out, you guys have had plenty of room. Fighting for, if you prowess. take the chairs out, and I think I see. Did you well, move we... the, the bike out, or is it behind you? Oh, the bike's still there. I'm just fat. <laughs> wasn't, wasn't <laughs> the bike's still there. He just got bigger. That's awful. That's, <laughs> wings, come on. Don't be that mean on yourself. Come yeah, on, man. Yeah, you're too mean. You're too mean. I, think I'm just like, I blocked the chairs there. You yeah. can't see my Xbox. I'm not calling myself fat. It's anymore. right now currently like a clothes hanger. And a Pikachu. Yeah. Like a little habitat thing. And a Pikachu's my mo That's my boy bear. <laughs> Oh, you gotta do the knife fight. You guys. Come on. You know what? It'll get done. I, I haven't. If you do the knife fight, the fuck nards will like you. Even if it's just a sneak peek. Yeah, wait. <laughs> do it just so I there, when I'm working on the subreddit, I don't have to see them, bitch. There's, uh, I can't explain how little their enjoyment even compels my life. I, oh, like, but you'll no. like it when they I, like I'd you. rather see... They like me this week. I'd rather it's roast really marshmallows pleasant. on the car. They're going to hate me now because I got into a wreck and caught on fire. Uh, I am I am the head fucknard, and I'm trying to get you <laughs> to, to, to please the uh, the subreddit. Yeah. I disagree. I like the subreddit a lot. Get on there all the time. I'm always I'm reading those things. And I noticed that one of you guys has my username, so, and it's, it's FDS Kyle. And if you could just give me that username, that would just be tremendous. And and I will I will do something for you in return. I want that I like username. The subreddit too. I'm in that subreddit. <laughs> and I see you every posting day. in there. I post in there constantly. No one supports that subreddit more than I do. I just like the nickname. Mm. They're the fuck nerds. Wear it with pride. I never post. I just, I just <laughs> Embrace it. Lefty, do you have yeah, a Reddit? I, just... I know it's if you do, it's like uh -uh. a secret. It just doesn't exist. No. Never so, signed up for one. So right Whenever I go chat, to Reddit.com, I'm just cruising the front page. Write in the chat whether or not you really have one. And I won't tell anyone. I was, I was actually surprised I got my subreddit, which is my my alternate. But I I can't get Wings of Redemption anywhere else, so uh, hold on I always got to go with the alternate. Just want to double. Yeah, chat's not shown. It Can seems like somebody that? took it upon themselves to register yeah. Wings of Redemption in every fucking social social site in the world. That sounds about right. <laughs> They're gonna try to blackmail you for it. Lefty honestly doesn't have a uh, username on Reddit, but he does surf it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yeah. What are you laughing at? You're on the subreddit right now? Maybe I'll do it for you. Well, Next, I can just send you the link. All right. That's that's funny. I've seen a few people pretending to be me, or at least like, or, or, or I think some people new to Reddit may get confused, like Flare. I don't know what Flare is. It's that's that little box like next to the actual <laughs> username, right? Yes. And some people have things the that have to do with lefty. Yeah, I don't think they... That's they... awesome. Oh. Yeah, I don't think they mean to... Like, one guy, for example, his his flair is like lefty46793231. 
and what he's really doing is making fun of your horrible branding. But people think that it's you. So like... it's not that bad, okay? It's not that bad. <laughs> I tell myself that enough, it'll be true. It's not that bad. Uh... I'm not Merka Durka. I'm not Merka Durka. <laughs> but do you think yours is better than Merka's? It's maybe a little better. It does have Lefty as a theme across. Lefty's the is better than Merka's. Merka's is Caponed. Ex Caponed. I mean, like my stuff. All of my things have Lefty in them. But Lefty Ox is my YouTube, and Lefty643 is basically everything else. And I just go by Lefty. So everything, every shitty, shitty branding that I have has Lefty in it, but it doesn't. Yeah, but see, when I see Lefty Ox or Lefty643, I'm thinking, like, is this the actual Lefty? Or is this a knockoff of Lefty? I'm looking for the actual Lefty. Maybe you should go to YouTube and see if you can get the Lefty tag to your channel. (laughs) I think that's like a big channel or something. Oh, is it? It, Dude, so Drunk Merka? Has become this like fictional character that's like does what needs to be done. Like, you know, <laughs> so, somebody's like, I think we need this, and they're like, and drunk Merka is the man to get that done. And and you know, like, he's, it's it's funny to me. And what they don't know is that when Merka's thought... on the show, every episode is a drinking episode, right? That's a quote from the man himself. He just had extra. That, that day <laughs> he had plenty and that was the episode where lefty got popular mm-hmm. like I, I don't that sounded like you weren't popular beforehand that's not what i was going for but i feel like yeah your mm-hmm. professional response to that elevated you in the eyes of everybody watching and uh, yeah and and the, the fallout again I, I can't say enough how awesome it was and people on the pk subreddit were just they were so nice um it was it was really cool to, we've to all had our time on to top and, and on bottom Right? Like, I don't know if you've really. Oh, been yeah. I got accused of faking all, all my laughing and stuff in my videos. <laughs> like, what? You know, I want to talk about that. It's a weird all thing, right. right? So, so the lefty that exists on Painkiller already is slightly different than the lefty that exists in the majority of your personal videos, right? But that doesn't mean yeah. fake to me. Um, like, like, me, there are a bunch of versions of me. Like, if you were my kid, you might think I was somewhat different. Like, often lecturing sometimes stern you know it's not a lot different than the male monday version of me right if you were my coworker mm-hmm. at cisco you might see i don't know like hard working but jokey occasionally inappropriate woody like you'd get that all the time um <laughs> if you were at work with me which is different than the parent version of me and maybe different yet from the painkiller already version of me which is kind of a no holds barred says things that he later regrets or whatever like i see quotes from me on pka and think holy smokes i did say that like you know you can totally have sex yeah. with a chicken just think it through how big an egg is how big you are you can go <laughs> right and then <laughs> i'm like oh my god i really said that that was me and it's not that any of mm-hmm. these people are fake me it's just like you you know i bet you behave slightly different at school than you do at the dinner table like not you, Lefty, but like the virtual you who might be watching. I bet you behave slightly different at work than you do with your mm-hmm. wife. I bet you behave slightly different with your, you know, mom mm-hmm. than you do with your teacher or something like that. And it's not that any of those are fake you. It's just that, you know, different behavior sits the environment around you. Back me up, Kyle. You hear? Your own voice. Yeah, absolutely. All those things agreed with. 100%. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're lagging, buddy. I'm lagging? You're lagging. Yeah, you are a little bit uh, on on our end. It's weird. It's like you're... What, it, it, a it's big like... <clears throat> hmm. See, so now you're fine, but whenever you get on your uh, tangent there, you were lagging back and forth. <laughs> your, your tangent. <laughs> <laughs> your tangent when you were talking about something. But, uh, but yeah, I, I'm... I mean, it's just, just because I'm not in this, quote, mode over all the time on my channel even you know i do have a podcast on uh, that i do where i'm very similar to this um it's just it's a different side i I try to run the gambit and i think some people might confuse that with me trying to like fake something but my point my issue was like if because people like oh it's just criticism it's just my opinion it's like well look if you're going to criticize me criticize me for something i actually do not the things you make up in your head that have nothing to do with me. They, it's I like, don't approve of the lynchings. <laughs> yes, yes, none of us been, do left. I've been working on it. I'm seeing, I'm seeing a guy, 
I mean, a girl. You seen a guy? I'm seeing a professional. How okay. long have you been seeing a professional guy? <laughs> <laughs> Does he have a pretty penis? Because wings might go in halvesies. <laughs> He's at twenty percent these days. <laughs> <laughs> For yeah, about who about don't 10% this... off tranny porn at this point. <laughs> this, you know, everybody wrong with tranny, tranny porn. porn. Yeah, wrong with I, tranny porn. Dude, so there's a particular kind of tranny porn you're looking for, right? Like, you've got sex, right? You've got your penis and you've you got your, your hooch. That's a standard. That's a given. You need it in your porn. Why not throw in extra boobs? Make an argument against that. Tranny I can't, porn. I can't see one. No. <laughs> no. Nope. It's, a, it's just... And maybe the dude what I did. Like I had two hundred percent times more more titties in your porn. Make that bad. Make that bad. You can't. You, I can make it better. You can have one of them be really fat and have back boobs. There's three hundred percent. No, no, that's negative. That's I'm that's a negative sure percentile. That's... Yeah. No. You don't. You don't maybe want that. You, I like chubby chicks. But yeah, no, I mean, you, no, you know, you, you you got your penis, you got your hooch. Throw in some extra boobs, everybody wins. Unless it's one of those trannies that re that really go all out with the like the estrogen and shit, and like, her penis is all shrunk and stuff, I don't like those. It's... I'd rather have a really like convincing cross dresser tranny kind of person. So just go to Backpage and get one of those chicks with like a nine inch long. <laughs> Why do they all have nine inch longs? It's standard. Did they hand those out? Because I missed mine. Yeah. It's perfect. It's like because if you if you say anything less than nine inches, it's kind of like oh well you know that's you're you're getting close to average there. But if you say ten inches, that's like that's bordering on unbelievable. Like ten inches, eh, I don't know. But if you're like nine inches, you're right in that little no man's land where that's it's like the you place know, to be, right? Uh, I mean, some of these girls are like 14 half, inches. Some of these girls are like 14 inches. They're like fucking fruit roll-up cocks. <laughs> they take their pants off and unravel this fucking thing. And then a third of their body's blood has to rush to it. <laughs> right, they get lightheaded when they get erect. Walking around with a blood bag on a halo. Yeah, it's ridiculous. No, no. And that's what every transsexual on Backpage.com is rocking right now. On the other hand, dude... All right, I gotta check this out. <laughs> In the middle of the show, Wings is gonna turn off his mic. He's gonna hit that little button. He's gonna call up somebody. You're gonna see him just like talking to somebody. Uh, what what, what do I put in for trannies? <laughs> what do I put in for? And then go in, go to the adult. Com? I have in my head. I don't want to get disappointed. Word. I don't want to get disappointed here and actually look up transmissions. <laughs> It's not. Nice it's not dot com. Nineteen eighty seven Buick right there. Maybe org. It might be. I have net in my autofill. It might work too. Which because of this show, like, <laughs> I'm so, on back page. So every so often, right? Like my daughter will want to use my browser or something. No. Nope. I'm like, no. Uh uh. You do not hop on a man's computer. Nope. And like, you don't want to see my search history. You don't want to see my autofill. This is a man's computer right here. You keep your fingers off. See, that's what you got to do is you got to go to the you got to go to Google Chrome and have it clear all the autofill stuff, and then just get in the habit of Control Shift N every time you want to sp spank one out. Control Shift N. Oh, <laughs> I feel like I shouldn't have to do that. You taught me the Control Shift N. You're like every once in a while, I just want to. I don't want you know. Yeah, you I don't know, want. Sometimes I'm like buying a gift for maybe somebody <laughs> like a surprise party planning event. So you do incognito <laughs> mode. Yeah, yeah that's what it's I for. Do. I hand him the phone that says, do not swipe. <laughs> so, Wings, have you found trannies yet? I have not found trannies yet. I'm looking. I put tranny in. I went to, I'm in Los Angeles' oh, back page. Man. What is in, I'm, the... in, I'm in the escort section, and I'm putting, like, tran. Like, I put tran in. No, let's try tran. No, I'm having a hard Click time. Click the TS button. You is guys are such noobs. Yeah. Is it .net or .org or .com? .com. There you go. What am I doing? Right, I, found, I found transsexual Alyssa, 22 and beautiful. Backpages.com on my machine is redirecting me to rocks. It's not, it's not plural. It's one back page. Yeah, backpage.com. That's found. my mistake. This is so fucking Ooh, wrong, dude. Mistake. All right, let's go to... This, girl, look, this, this guy looks go. better than half the girls on Plenty now, of Fish. I know how to do this shit. Adult experts, hell yeah, I agree. Whoa, 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 hang on a second. Are you on Plenty of Fish, Wings? Yeah, I'm on Plenty of Fish. You know what my buddies call that oh, when wait. they're on there? They call it fishing. <laughs> you got you got to go with the net. You know how to do the net yet, dude? I, I've never participated, but like when we well, go on road trips, is you, create a, you create a, a notepad with like all your information, like flattering girls and stuff, and like this like very nice 
nicely done worded paragraph, and you just send it to every girl that you think you'd fuck. And you just wait for them to see who responds. It's like dragging the net across. Wings, man, I can't believe you didn't know how to do this. It's, huh? It's backpage.com, adult TS. I'm, I'm yeah, in it right I now. Agree. And not brief. Brief is for noobs. Gallery mode. <laughs> what you know about gallery oh, mode? What you know Which about gallery $50 mode? $50 special popping. Lollipop TS girl. Oh, wow. Oh, I think in this one shit. picture, this girl has it hanging out. I and... love to suck lollipops of all flavors. Is she legit Last nine drop, inches? drop, drop, drop. Will you make you feel like a king? What's her name, Lefty? Oh, uh, here, I'll just link it in the... Oh, just... Listen to the noises Lefty's making right Yeah, now. Lefty is really like... Lefty is looking at this at this nine inch power schwang. Oh and he's my going, god! Are you sure it's her unit? And he's going. Do you see oh, the one I'm talking oh. about? It's the oh, wow. wearing the blue yeah. flower dress. Yeah, yeah. With the black sleeves. Yeah. No way. Oh, that's not. That thing it is says almost down inches. to the back of her knee. It says eleven <laughs> inches on the thing. That's what it's it like. says highly rated and verified eleven inches. By the Department of Weights and Measures in California, (laughs) (laughs) it took it in. That poor motherfucker. Whose job is that? (laughs) ISO certified. All right, sir, whip it out. Oh wow! Holy smokes! I don't believe. It's like he's having a stroke every time you get a hard on. How do you have? How you have the word soft and petite ts, and then followed up with eleven inch dick? (laughs) <laughs> How did well, most of her body is soft and petite. In fairness, she is black, so it's probably legit. <laughs> Back me yeah. up, Lefty. I'm confused. You already got your one. You guys actually got, got two like, today. I'm, 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 like, yeah. I'm disappointed with this ad because if, you, if I had 11 inch dick, the last thing I'd want to be is like you know some like bottom pleasing males. Um. Hmm. I guess trainees I, are bottoms, aren't they? I don't yeah, think no, they all are. Well, yeah. it says right here, sexy femme no, bottom. It says right here, can stay strong, can stay stiff all night long. It says no bottom drama. slash top freak is what it says. Yeah, she's up for anything. She yeah, she's still playing shit. This is a full she, service person right here. This is Nicki Minaj with a cock. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I thought or, she Nicki Minaj had one. Can, can I call? I, this I is just... Nicki Minaj. Apparently, this tranny stuff is a pretty good living. That's a pretty nice house she has down there. <laughs> well, you remember uh, the or, w- ideas, Wings? What do you say? House. Wings, all these pictures are taken in like hotel rooms. Oh, not the, the bottom, bottom left bottom. one. Down yeah. the b- bottom left. That's a suite. It might be a hotel room still. Oh, I was like, damn. Make some bank. And it's funny. If you look at the selfies, like you can see technology, cell phone technology throughout the years. It's like one, there's like an early smartphone, and then another one got like an iPad, and another one got nice. a... nice. You know how like people an... always post like four-year-old pictures when they were 10% hotter than they are currently? <laughs> <laughs> you can use the cell phone to date the picture. Like, you know, <laughs> what is that rounded iPhone shit? You know that's from you know, 2007. <laughs> Get out of here. You come back to me with the, you know, all glass back iPhone or something like that. iPhone 5, you know she's still hot. I just I want to know how you verify your eleven your cock size. I, you put a ruler next to it, and you have like a, a guy from Guinness Books of World Records come with a tape measure, mm-hmm. and then you take pictures. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I I I'm trying to think if I needed to get my penis verified, I guess I'd go to a notary. <laughs> <laughs> and a doctor. And when he shows up at the bank, throws it on the fucking yeah, counter. Yeah, like you know that like one lady at the office who's uh, like certified to notarize your documents. Do you mm-hmm. walk into her cube, drop your schlong on her desk, and be like, I need this thing stamped. They'd have to have a witness. I'm, I'm, I'm going to need a piece of paper here, too, so I can show it off and hang it on the wall. <laughs> and they're always visiting, too. They're always like, I'm only in town for, like, the weekend or for, like, the next three days. Like, where do you, like, are uh, you uh, a jet-setting tranny? Normally, it, we... It makes people jump on the chance to get access to her. Mm. I can't get over this ad. This this person is too good to be true. She's a true freak, T.S. Tangy. She has proof of verified 11-inch long, can stay st- strong, and strong and can stay stiff all night long. No drama, no BS. Don't settle for less. Why would you when she's available? She's exactly. private and discreet. I... <laughs> More boobs. 
<laughs> yeah, but see, she's but see, these are guys that are filling in her in her. Uh, probably calling her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is, is that a her? Is that, is that correct? Her, her, yeah, her, I asked him? about this actually. So we had a training on the show, and um, that top right one looks exactly like Katy Perry to me. Whoa, holy! St- I'm sorry, I got a little distracted. I'll come back to that. <laughs> but, Link what us to whatever dick. you just saw. What he just saw, Dick. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> no, what he saw, I did it. What so, he saw, Wang. Go Link to me to whatever you just saw. <laughs> all, right, all right. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to go to um, this page. And if you look in the top right, or at least on my screen, there's a really beautiful woman in a black gown. Do you see the same thing? It says the best uh, of both worlds, which is a pretty cool tranny like tagline. Uh, but do you see her it. in the top right in a black dress? Go to that's gallery it. mode. You noobs are probably in brief. Yeah, I'm in brief mode. I, I'm... Yeah. Do, do the pictures have four nine four nine four two all over them? No. Oh, oh yes, yes, yes. That's her. So if you look at her. Just there, you're like, oh, my God, she's beautiful. She looks like Katy Perry. And then you click in and see that top center one. And It I looks think like my accountant dressed up with a wig. She she might have swallowed Katy Perry between those two, <laughs> those two pictures. I'm like, like, wow, this one's amazing. And then I click oh in God, on there. At, her name is Linda Starr. And, and if you look at the one in particular, like her front page one, that's heavily Photoshopped. Look at her face. Did hmm. they take like a like – a, like literally a Barbie doll, put it in a black dress and shoot it. Cause that is not the same as all these other pictures. Maybe that's the, uh, the Nokia 3230 phone picture. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the iPhone five. Uh, <clears throat> the PK subreddit is going to be awful. Cause the, the whole time people are watching this, they're going to be like, Oh my God, they're going to do prank calls again. Uh, it, it's, I'm, <laughs> So I was talking to a friend of mine, and he was saying our prank calls should have, should be more, um, like almost devious and planned out. Like instead of just calling and whatever. Like remember, remember one time we called Home Depot, and we said it was right after the zombie attack in Florida, and then there was another zombie attack in Maryland, and we asked him to walk the halls and help us prepare like a zombie preparedness kit. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, an angle grinder might be helpful, and we're like, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you know, here's a, a welder's apron. This might protect you. They didn't want that. They wanted it next level. Like, get suspicious information, data mine, social engineer, make things happen. I thought that was a little rough. Like, almost crack into systems, get a credit card number, then prove you got it, and masquerade as somebody. I don't know. I think I like ours. It's less No, at some point, you're you're doing things that are question, like, almost illegal. It's too far. Yeah, no. It's... Does anyone? I'm, I'm I'm happy looking at 11 inch tranny dick. It's it's just me. <laughs> I damn right. <laughs> Even though she's black. Prank calls. Prank calls are too hit or miss. Wings, yeah. if wings, if one of those hot trannies was like a millionaire and she wanted you to be her man boy, would you would you retire from your life of YouTube and? Yes, I would. And, and, be, her, and be and be her. Her, her, I'd do that for her, a lot less money. Would, would you? Would you? <laughs> would you be her bottom bear? If if it meant I was set for life and I had no financial worries, yes. Yes. So you, you would yes! take a, a lifetime of eleven inch long in your rear, for no financial troubles. Right. Actually, so I'm curious about this. Would you really? Yes. <laughs> because you, you know what? Eventually, you might learn to like it. <laughs> but you know what I won't have to do I won't have to see something and not be able to buy it I won't have to worry about bills I won't have gray hairs I won't have stomach cramps and pains and my stomach won't be like you know knotted up ever again because my asshole will be hurting <laughs> but eventually it'll stretch out <laughs> all you people out there in the pain or subreddit you know who instigates the best moments of the show right <laughs> oh, it's not just you. I've instigated a lot of the best moments in this <laughs> no, show too. No, go back, painkiller already historians, and find the find the ones that I've instigated. Do it, the do best. it. They're Where did the I'm down Cal come from? Where'd that come from? That was me, baby. Where did top half, bottom half, mermaid come from? That was me. All I'm gonna go moments. point out that uh, I'm usually part of the best moments. Yes, yes, <laughs> that's true. And, and Lefty, you watch too. <laughs> I'm just teasing you. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I just like I just Kyle is very transparently trying to not become the 
the next target of the subreddit. <laughs> know, totally transparent. He's like, yo, remember who like keeps everything awesome and hilarious? Hey, hey, remember man. who's so great? Well, I love well, you so, guys. So, so right, so I have thus far most of the time felt that the subreddit did a good job. I would see uh, my own words or opinions misrepresented occasionally, and then I would see somebody come right back and defend me and be like, no, no. This is what he actually meant. This was his point of view, and they're dead on. I'm like, yeah, dude, I didn't even have to come in here because you nailed it. You knew what I meant. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a general rule of thumb when you're thinking about something that I say, I, 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 if, it's re if it would be really bad if I meant it, then I didn't mean it. Does a general rule of thumb with me too. Can I get that one? <laughs> no, no, that's a, that's, that's a one-off. That's a one-off. <laughs> that's a one-off? There's no two-for-one on that? Yeah, no, if it no, sounds really horrible, I meant the other thing. So... Um... Yeah, no, I, I like the subreddit. And everyone takes their time in the barrel. I think it's Kyle's turn. W w Wings had it this week. Lefty's, eh, I don't know if Lefty's really had his time Lefty's in the barrel. Lefty's getting it. He's, he, it's about to start up. Really? Yeah. Yeah, he dropped all his end bombs earlier. <laughs> I, I've, I've yeah, but that's going to be joking stuff. People aren't going to hate on me for yeah, that. Yeah, no, they're not going to genuinely dislike him as a person. They've liked I got, Lefty I got ever since the Merca episode. Mm -hmm. you're, done with the, you're done with this beautiful tranny? No, I'm not, but well, this training I'm looking at right here is open 24 hours a day. How could I be done with this? <laughs> <laughs> so, Wings, like, I'm, I'm trying to think. Oh, would I take it in the rear for a lifetime? I, it, it's funny because you're like, can eventually I, you'll learn to like, like it. The training you I'm looking what? at right now is Asian, so I can guarantee there's not 11-inch dick there. <laughs> no, 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 no. For this, for this question, I can guarantee that there is an 11-inch dick there. You could learn to like it, I think. I'm just saying, like, financial worries is what a lot of what what really torments a lot of people's lives. Mm -hmm. And like, if you don't have to worry she about she dresses finances, you up like a giant gingerbread man. Of I don't give a it. fuck. You know what? When I'm not getting fucked in the ass, I'm riding an Escalade. I'm sitting on cruise ships. With a special seat. She makes you sing. <laughs> Do you know the Muffin Man while she plows you? <laughs> and you say it as you sob. Like beads in my ass when I'm riding Escalade. So be it. Absolutely. It there, will be, there will be a dildo attached to the seat of the Escalade. <laughs> For, before you can start it, you will have to be fully enveloped. Oh, dude. Right. I mean, most tops. What, what's South the other Park. thing your wife talked about? The cock ring. What? Uh. Oh, the, the chastity cage. The chastity cage. Now that's fucked up. I'm not familiar with the chastity yeah, cage. Yeah, his wife has it. Hold on, hold on. Let me they explain put... this. Since it's, since it's just Come closer to the mic. Oh, is this a man with first-hand experience? Now, we have a, a friend, okay? And he uh, has a special, you know, sex life. And his girlfriend... Um has decided that uh, they were going to train him on his, um, you know, when, the, when he could, you know, come and not come. So they bought a chastity cage, and what it does is he is nine inches, and it keeps him like that all the time. What All the time, as in during sex or just all day? As in he's been in it for a month now and not out of it, except for to take a leak and a shower. So he's a masochist. He likes being... Oh, yeah, he likes it. Nothing wrong with that. I'm gonna go so far as say like he has to wear a device that keeps him from getting erect, and she's doing everything in her power to get him erect throughout the month. Yep. What if that backfires and he really doesn't get erect like after this session? That, what if she actually trains <laughs> him to not get hard ons? I know that's the opposite of what I. I want. mean, would I wear the chastity cage right in Escalade? Maybe. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't even a, an option, but you just took it. <laughs> they do some weird fucking shit. They do. Should like, we try to find are actually the limit sexually crazy people? Will not I heard I heard a man sticking a sharpie down the head of his dick. You know, like the, you know, sharpies have these like little things right here. I just want to point out to everybody that Wings has a sharpie right there, knife fight. <laughs> you see, the sharpies have this little clip on on the pin. I heard a guy sticking this down his dick just because the way it felt. Why? Yeah, I don't. Would you do that for ten million dollars, Wings? Oh million? yeah, yeah, yeah. Once when I was a really little kid, I don't know how old I was. I'll I'll make up a number and say like between five and seven. I tried to stick um 
one half of a tweezer inside my penis. Woo! Yeah, and I made it like half a centimeter, found it to be really, really painful, and never did that again. It oh, that awful. makes me feel awful. I don't like oh. talking about this. Oh. Topic, please, oh. this is the worst. Yeah, and like I remember it being a really sharp pain. It's possible because it was like a bath time. Like that's why I was naked in the first place. I had just no, taken a bath. Please get off this topic. So, uh. <laughs> yeah, and I'm. It might have been like soapy or something. And it was just, oh. Yeah, so it oh, made it, it like it kind of burned. And uh, of course, the tweezers are a little sharp on the on the tip, right? Oh, yeah. Right. All right, now Shut you're just up. now, is, now you're up. trying. Now you're a, trying. Stop it! I, I oh, made a horrible man. decision. <laughs> oh. so, I got a video. I Wild card. <laughs> oh, wow! That's. I got that's a awful. I got a video seven minutes long. Mm -hmm. But I want us to watch it and comment on while we're watching it. It's your video. Oh, it's going. I know what it's going to be. Because you've been into, like, roaches and people's ears and crap like that. No, it, it, it's something to do with it. It's a video I did a video on, but I, I think we all need to watch this. I think I saw... Oh, it's seven minutes. Hey, it's Chris from Chris. Do I need to start at zero? Uh, some of you may or may yeah, not start, know. Yeah, let's all start at zero and click at the same time. I have some real okay. So I'm buffering. Are we ready? Is everyone ready? Three, two, one. Hey, it's Chris from Chris Beat Cancer. I'm going to take this down off my watch the video already. I am in the real estate business. I have some rental properties. But man, and this particular property had How do for, some people live like this? About 7 years. Like he, he hasn't showed it to you at this point. Years. Uh, kind of an eccentric So it looks like what we're going to be viewing well, and video is called Landlord Insists. Uh, or excuse me, Landlord Inspects Grossest Order House Ever. And uh apparently Somebody rented from day, him has a really gross house, home, the door, and he's describing it before shirt, he takes us inside uh, for really, a tour. Pretty strange. I want to go ahead and, and lay uh, some backstory down here while, while he's talking. Um, I watch a lot of hoarders. I watch a lot of shows where people have with really with fucked up houses, and I do a lot of YouTube phone. videos looking at that. And even this house impressed me. Like this house is that much overboard. I asked her about the garbage in the living room. That appeared like, to be I, I couldn't imagine what's going through this guy's head when he said, opens his goddamn oh, door. Problems right now. So hmm. I told her to go ahead and move out. Yeah. She told me she'd move out by Monday. Oh, Today's Monday. Yeah. She's you gone. know, Woody one time and, told me that um, he measures the dirt the in his house by inches, crazy. like clutter. Not dirt, so like clutter. I thought I would clutter by if inches. You want to know the yeah. fastest yeah, this, way to get this sick. This one has about I would feet, say maybe. This one needs the metric system. Your house like this. In fact, I don't even know how to make my house like this. It's this bad that bad. It's that crazy. to look for a new place to live. So anyway, if your house is messy, this is this is It's nothing compared to this. Get ready. Okay, we're going in. Yeah, we're just going in now. Holy shit, there's already stuff, like, in the yeah. doorway. The door's not closed because there's mess that prevents the door from shutting. Yeah. Oh, it literally up. looks like a landfill as he pans up inside it the house. It does. It, landfill is a perfect description. It's trash. Like, I got on Hoarders, I, like, I always I like thought... how the love seat over there has the nice one spot cleaned off. Maybe <laughs> yeah, she for her to knows. sit. Like, she lives in there. This is the living her... room. You can see a small love seat. Maybe she should take notes that the maybe corner. the other parts of the house uh, should be just like that one seat. See, I get on how hoarders might keep the everything they unit. think might have value someday. A lot of pizza boxes. But pizza boxes this and lady stuff. Loves I don't know why she has pizza. that. Also, pizza boxes and Diet and Pepsi. Pepsi. This seems more like insanely messy than hoarding. In our house, that's for sure. I don't know what this is. Like, I mean, the TV is actually sitting on pizza boxes. Yeah, man. still got it there. And it's trash that the TV is sitting on. It's not a flat screen either. Lots of <laughs> and the TV has trash stacked on top of it. Cat food. I saw an empty bottle of some kind of cleaner, though, so she was trying. <laughs> <laughs> she was not trying. There's an exercise bike. It looks kind of like mine. My... She, she was probably trying to clean the trash off the screen. Is that a fresh can of Red Bull? Right where I don't know. Now, Would you drink it if it was, Kyle? Inches, and it's yeah, solid. it appeared to be sitting on the coffee table on open. You get this much newspaper <laughs> in a house. I mean, it seems oh, to man. be mostly... Like, 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 what is this shit? Like, newspaper? I see some McDonald's. And, I see a National yeah, Geographic. She has just, about 18 well, inches of trash. Bottles over here. Right? Like, 18 inches of newspapers and trash and stuff. I wonder All if the right. carpets are fairly Let's clean under there. Our way. It has to be. They're protected of, with a layer yeah, of filth. Yeah. It's, it's like, I came in. like that plastic for your couch you can put on. 
<laughs> with garbage. All around me. I, 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 if I remember so, correctly, at this point in the video, he's talking about how like that the, the garbage he's walking on is actually solid. Inside my <laughs> that pants. There's a solid base to it. There's a little cockroach right there hiding. Just imagine what that bitch smells like. Good lord. Let's check out the kitchen. You'd have yeah, to. We haven't got to the, the worst part yet. The kitchen is not quite as deep <laughs> in garbage. Although you can see part of the kitchen. Oh, but it the kitchen. Super this, gross the kitchen here. is where I'd probably live at. Yeah. It's the, the I, I'm arguably camera. the cleanest. Those those arguably the cleanest is worse than any episode of Cops, though. Based on the smell. <laughs> oh, Look at all the look flies. The Good lord. Oh. <laughs> the oh, man. Is oh. Would you like something to drink? No. <laughs> Like she was buying bags of ice. No, I'll go to the store. <laughs> I don't trust her faucet to, to provide clean water. That's <laughs> how dirty the place is. Okay, the oh, you... really swarming in here. I'm oh, there's a washing machine. It's got washed. trash on it too. I doubt that was ever Shot used. The hallway. I kind of get it now. She keeps trash all over the floor everywhere. Oh, here it comes. In oh. the bathroom. Oh. We have. A some sort of monument Holy she has erected <laughs> of toilet paper and feces. <laughs> a monument she has erected of toilet paper and feces. Actually, a little bit taller than the vanity. <laughs> Holy shit! Taller than the vanity <laughs> sink <laughs> thing. The floor. Yes, she I wish, dude, if this woman was had done this to my house, oh, is buried <laughs> under a mound of feces. Oh my lord! Paper. Why would she not just flush the toilet? And the tub is. <laughs> she probably didn't pay the water bill or something. Like, uh, but even that, too. I would add the feces if you go to somebody else's house too. with a five-gallon bucket. Like, can I please borrow water to oh, flush the toilet? Who can here. deny that request? Who can? Here we have a room. Uh, this is actually the cleanest house. This room is really not too bad. This is her office. This is right here's where I actually live at, right here in this, in this room right here with the books. books. Yeah, I, I like that the books are all over Boxes the floor. They just seem sanitary by comparison. Like, <laughs> like oh, that's just, that's just un... Oh, it, well, you know, here's, here's, yeah. here's where the magic happens. the master bedroom where the magic <laughs> happens. <laughs> he says that where the magic yep. happens. Just more garbage, really. <laughs> Oh, man, just imagine what her pussy smells like. Oh, at least she's got like dry cleaning bags, so she likes clean clothes. Of distinction. Well, she probably has dry cleaning bags because the washing machines are too cl cluttered with junk on top of them to use. Mm -hmm. I wish she opened that closet. The closet would be pretty cool to look at. Uh, I guess he can't open it. There's 18 inches of shit on the floor. <laughs> oh, oh. Uh, there's a good Papa John's ad there. It, yeah, I'm sure Papa's really, really happy. It looks like there's a land floor, a, a landfill on the bottom of this place. Better pizzas, better ingredients, <laughs> Papa John's. <laughs> <laughs> so glad to be out here in fresh air. Okay. Well, I can say, well, I guess she was lucky see. that pizza delivered this? to her house. She been hey, fucked. Um, she lived where I live at. If you're living on pizza and alcohol. How and, old was this woman? Did he actually say that in the video? With your own garbage and animal feces and your own feces. Can we stop this video now? We just yeah, yeah, we can. Yeah. Wings, I'm curious because I'm watching this guy. He got into the real estate business, and this woman did what I'm guessing is a good fifteen, twenty thousand dollars worth of damage. And sometimes I think about owning real estate. If you had a couple hundred grand, what would you do with it? How would you make the rest of your life like a little bit smoother? What would be your plan? Well, as right now, if I had a, you gave it to me right now, yeah, I fell off on my debt because I owe about forty grand in debt. Forty? No. How do you owe? For, oh, is the trucks right? The, I, the truck. Yeah, that's about it. So I pay, I pay about forty grand in debt. Um, it's an expensive truck. I know. It's right not here? all the truck. I have some, I have three or four thousand dollars in back taxes still. But it's mostly the truck. It's mostly the truck. Yeah. Regular PKA listeners will go back and remember me hazing him about the truck every step of the way. <laughs> We all did. We all like, he's thinking about buying the truck and I'm telling It would be like if I was like, so bought an island. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Took everything I had, but scraped it together. Now Ow. it's FPS Isles. That's yeah. right. Got a load. No, I don't have any structure on the island, and there are AIDS infested monkeys living there, but it is my <laughs> island. <laughs> the, the, the thing it, is, it, it is I remember, whatever. I told I Wings this. Hold, hold, can I jump in? I was like, at some point, you don't even own your stuff. Your stuff owns you. You like, you work every day, all day, to pay off loans. You you bust your butt 
trying to get ahead. The, the bills, they eat you up from the inside out. And it's like, man, I'd be happier if I didn't own these things that made me happy for the first time. Uh, can I go ahead and say this? Yeah. When I bought the truck, paying the bill wasn't a problem. Wait. You bought the truck with a loan, so you never paid the bill. Everybody buys shit with loans. 90% of the populace. You bought your house with a loan. Yeah, I did. I mean, it, it, I mean, you can't discredit somebody buying stuff with a loan at this day and age. You can't. It's the way the system's set up. Because, like, everyone here is in a role where you don't know what the future holds, right? And it's not just YouTuber, mm -hmm. right? If you were an actor, if you were a musician, if you were a pro athlete that didn't have, like, contract security, like, you know, maybe you could get injured tomorrow. If I was a pro athlete and I was a football player, and I think that's the right one. Lefty, help me if I get any of this wrong. Football players can be cut tomorrow. Football players, you know, they get these $7 million contracts. They have whatever, two bad months, and they're done. You know, they're traded. They just don't honor the rest of the contract. That's how – I'm talking about American football. That's how it works. If I was in that role, I wouldn't go spending like I've got $7 million coming through the rest of that contract. You know, I'd mm -hmm. spend as if I had an uncertain tomorrow. Same thing if I was a musician or an actor or whatever. But you're like, hey, it's a loan. Yeah. But it, it, what it is is I had a contract. I had a contract that guaranteed me good money for three years. A contract where you could be released on, I forget if it was 10 days notice or 15. Yeah, but it was going good. I even called him asking him, like, is there any chance this contract is going to fall through? No, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. I mean, but there's worse people with money. <laughs> there's worse people in this house with money. <laughs> Not even him. Not me. There's other people. There's other people in the house. <laughs> I mean, I, even if this is – I'm not the first person that's ever going to have to give something back to the bank. I'm not. I'm not going to sit here and look down upon myself because I might have to do that. Because I, I've made it. Giving back to the bank because you can't pay a bill? Yeah. That would suck. It it's gonna be a reality here soon, but but um, I'm not the first person that's ever done that. Lots of people have done it. Rich people. Or have done that. if you really wanted to protect your credit, I guess what you could do is sell it to somebody for a reduced price, and then use that. I already money have to keep it for a reduced price, but I'm at the point where I it's I can't reduce it anymore because I don't have the it in the bank to cover it. So, but you could use that money to continue making payments. Mm -hmm. I don't think the bank will let you do that. You'd have to like borrow the money and give it off. Yeah, I think it's hard to make. It's hard to keep a loan. Make after payments without a collateral. collateral. Yeah, you just let them. Yeah, you can do that. And really? and I also got to keep enough money to make sure my IRS payments go through. Because then the IRS is going to take the house. You know what you need. I need I need to I need to be able to make it till next April when my IRS payments go away. Fat Lincoln, make it happen. <laughs> <laughs> but let's not do this because the fuck nards hate me bitching about my life, so I decided not to do it this week. Okay, let's see. That's fair enough. From. I do like uh, Kyle's idea for Fat Lincoln. <laughs> it, I came up with a very good idea for Fat Lincoln. Point yeah, it was, it's really you. good. It's beautiful. Let's, let's not talk around? about it. I want to be a surprise. Yeah, I, I, okay, I think okay. he wants to keep, Yeah, I think he's actually might do it. All it's, right. It's, it's a funny little fat Lincoln idea brought to you once again <laughs> Kyle by wants FPS all the Kyle. credit. Going to brainwash him into thinking that everything <laughs> comes from you. It um, all comes from one source. Yeah, I, I don't know what your fat Lincoln idea was, but I doubt it can hang with Road to Microwave Dish. <laughs> <laughs> like they said on the subreddit it will rival road to a clean room by white boy seven I, I tried to uh i tried to fix my heater core this week <laughs> that didn't work out this is on the chevy yeah what's so hard about it i'm sorry i'll be right back but but everyone be thinking of <coughs> questions what's, what's so hard about it is it's dude it is a million fucking bolts on that damn shit like okay. there is like you have to take apart things to find bolts to take stuff out. Cause you replace the heater core from the interior, right? Yes. You got to take the entire dash out. And how much is it to have it done? Like fourteen hundred or something? Uh, Palmetto Chevrolet was a thousand bucks. I got a guy. I got a guy that works in like he owns a mechanic shop, but he's mm -hmm. like more load tree. He can do it for four hundred. 
but you you going for it on your own? Well, I tried. I uh -huh. have to I have to have somebody else do it at this point. Like because I broke the knee bolster clip, so I'm about to find a wreck one now and then I broke the the uh the B pillar shroud. So I'm about to find another one of those. It's at the point where it's going to start costing me money. <laughs> because yeah. you know, after, the truck's 11 years old. Stuff on it are just are just old. And, and after people, it's been sitting there for so long, if people don't know, like if you've never worked on the interior of an old truck, stuff breaks like i hardly know i know what a b pillar shroud is i don't know what a knee bolt clip is under the steering wheel there's a bolster that hides all the wires okay and the beams. but here's what i do know 11 year old interiors have like piece of pieces of plastic that like clip things in that was probably really easy to do but interiors in cars just aren't really made to come apart and go back together a million times when you do that things start rattling and when I hear Wings made mistakes on disassembling an interior, I don't think incompetence. I bet the plastic even... hardens, doesn't it? Like, like it, it does. Like literally yeah, hardens. and these things depend on being flexible sometimes to clip into place. So if you have like brand new plastic and you pull on it, it might like pull out. If you have old plastic and you pull on it, it might break off because that's kind of how plastic works. And uh, um, yeah, so anyway, you broke stuff, and it, it like my knee jerk reaction was like, "Wow, he's not good at this." It was like, "Wait a minute, Woody." You've worked on some old trucks yet. It breaks. I bet the people at the dealership just have buckets of replacements for this stuff. I, I, I can almost guarantee I can replace everything I broke for like less than 20 bucks in a junkyard. I just got to get to it. If you can get it off <laughs> without yeah. breaking that one too. Because I did the left one right, and then I broke the right one. Yeah. I just put a new radio in my truck, and you know it's tricky to take apart an interior. I think it's easier it, to work it, on the motor. Engineers, use metal clips on everything that requires a clip. Please. Don't use plastic. Yeah. I don't understand. Just you, it can't cost that much more. <laughs> can't. Can't. Especially uh, if I'm buying, paying $40,000 for a truck. But most people don't know, I paid $30,000 for my Chevrolet. It's just old at this point. Yeah. Yeah. The, the, so wait, did you trade something in to get? Yeah, you traded. So you bought I a traded, I, you I bought, bought the a white new truck. Ford, the white truck, and then I trade... didn't. I didn't actually plan on buying the black truck. I kind of got talked into it while I was at the Ford dealership. Like, and like while you're the, picking up this the white moment truck, I did it, the it moment was... I signed the papers, I got sick to my stomach. I was sick to my stomach for two weeks afterwards. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I knew I made a mistake. See that? Doesn't that stink? Like it does a, stink, and I'm like, I called him. I called him like, can I just give this back to you? I'll give you money. I'll give you two thousand dollars just to take this back from me. Mm -hmm. I, I've never had that. Like a big. What I have had is this. I bought a Ford Focus. This is um. It's probably a little different than today's Focuses because they had only been in this country for a little bit. For people who don't know the Focus, it's a small car. It was in Europe first, and it was like wildly popular. And Americans were like, why do they get cool small cars and we have Escorts? Ford Escort, it's not a cool car. And uh, so they brought the Focus to the United States. It won all these awards. I bought one. I brought it home. And instantly, I was like the... You know how you get a new car and you're so excited? Like, it, you sit there and you read the owner's manual by the interior light as you, you know, that night or something. Like, it, when I bought a Focus, I was like, all right. Gotta go to work tomorrow. Went inside. <laughs> like, there's nothing interesting about this thing. This and, thing uh, sucks. <laughs> what'd you say? This thing kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, and it wasn't. I didn't feel like it sucked. I just had zero excitement over it, right? And maybe some of you guys would be totally excited over it. But I bought it, and it was just like, well, I suppose that was a prudent financial decision, and called it a night. And then um, this is what happened. We kept that car for like six or seven years, and I drove it. And I would walk. I'd park at Cisco, right? Like, let's say I have a bad parking spot and I'm walking past every car as I go inside, I might pass 120 cars and prefer like 117 of them to my own. I'd be like, yo, what, what, be what's the other three? Yeah, somebody would have like an old Chevette or something like that. And I'd be like, all right, that thing. <laughs> Garbage <good."> truck. <laughs> yeah, right. One of them wasn't actually a car. It was just a dumpster in a parking lot space. It was <laughs> a Schwinn. Like, oh, <laughs> yeah. man, I wish. Yeah, but yeah, you know, like that was, that was literally like 98% of the cars I would see in the lot. 
I would prefer to the one I have. And then I'd hop in the crappy thing that I owned and just not like it all the time. And, and that's one mistake you can make. Like, it's not a bargain if you don't want it. And I felt like I suffered with that car for a long time. And incidentally, Jackie stepped up. I was doing woodworking all the time, and she's like, you should get a truck. And to me, this was like a dream. Like, I don't know. Like, like, like can I? Can I be a real boy? <laughs> this is like the guy's equivalent of being proposed to. It's like, what? For real? Like, I can have this? And uh, she's like, you know, because I was... I was buying things like lumber and tools and stuff like that. And I would rent the Home Depot truck constantly for like 20 bucks. And she's like, you know, you need a truck like twice a week all the time. Get a truck. And uh, I was just so excited and happy. And, and Jackie drove the Focus for a year or two before we replaced it. I'm, I'm going to go put this out there. If anybody wants a 2012 F-150 Lariat Super Crew four-wheel drive, I'll give you 34.5. You ain't going to beat that price on the market. Less than, less than 15,000 miles. And I'll say this about Wings. Wings keeps his things nice. You know, it's the, immaculate. It Wings' is, trucks. Are, Wings has, how old is the, um, is it 11 years old, the, the maroon one? It's 11 years old, yeah. The maroon one is nice. Wings' carpet is nice. His couches are nice. His kitchen counters my are nice. My carpet clean. in my 11 year old truck is like they had rolled off the factory lot. Yeah. If you buy Wings' 2012 Ford F 150, I assure you, it's going to look like a 2014 Ford F-150. It, 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 that, that's just, that's how Wings, if it's not a um, an Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller, Wings takes damn good care of it. <laughs> that's that's the general rule of thumb for Wings Redemption's <laughs> items. It, it, like, I always look at my... Don't, don't go buy a used controller from Wings. That shit's broken. <laughs> it's <laughs> just like lived it, a hard life. I'm only going to say this. You can't beat a better Lariat price than what I've given you right there. They sell for forty grand at the lot, and with that kind of mileage, and I'm giving it to you for thirty four five. You know who would buy this? Who? Yellow. Well, Yellow needs to go and step his game up because. Yeah, step his game up. The man's playing Half Life Three, Battlefield Four on the PS4 and Xbox One right now as we speak. He's already got that shit modded too. <laughs> Check it. Check it. Check it. Check him out. Yellow will hook you up. Slash whatever is in the description. He actually, he struck me as pretty funny in his mail. Like, not everyone strikes me as funny. I was like, oh, you know what? I like this guy. I like this Good. guy. Another guy's going to be competing with me for some. Oh, okay. I can tell about my other thing. I did get helped out this month. Okay. My internet company sent me a letter, and they're lowering my $250 bill down to $100, and they're doubling my speed. Whoa. So what will your new, what will your new speeds be? Uh, be 15 by 4. On my computer. That's more than double on the upload. Well, my upload was two. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Okay. But that's good. I had I had I had an eight by two. Now it's going fifteen by four. Nice. And the price. So the price is more than cut in half, and the speed's doubled. Yeah. And well, fifteen by you. four. Yeah, it doesn't suck anymore. It was no, five thing. Yeah, let me, you can stream pretty easily on that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, other than dosers. <laughs> I got DOSed eight times last time I tried to stream. Did you really? Do you have the new Skype? Uh, no, I don't. You gotta get the new Skype. I usually just turn Skype off when I stream. Yeah, but you, you got to change your IP address. That's the big thing. To avoid you you get the new Skype. Check the little box saying only contacts can directly contact me, and then. Dude, I, would, I, I should try to play on this. Is there any way I can like set my connection up so I can flip a switch that this big connection will jump over there to the console? I mean, I do, but it's complicated as hell. Like, it's not like, yes, I've spent days setting up my Pentagon like router situation to make that happen. <laughs> I, I I would maybe, if it's in the room, just switch the cable if you want a simple solution. Uh, my, for some reason, my upload ain't, ain't, uh, ain't up to what they said it would be, but look at that. All right. So I'm looking... I, that's what I'm on right now. That's about right. Um, is it? It's a DSL, right? Uh, it's a cable modem. Okay. Usually, yeah, okay. The rule of thumb is with DSLs, you get about 80% of what they tell you you'll get. And with a cable modem, you actually get what you get, what they say. But I I thought you had DSL. But the, so Wings is showing me a speed test result that is 15 down and almost two up. And a five ping. That ping was 130. Wings, you realize you're, you're rocking that cop killer 
Upload, right? Rocking that 187. <laughs> what, what is 187 cop killer? It's the murder code in California. Yeah, 187. You know, scream 187 on a motherfucking cop. Oh, right, from the rap music, right? Yeah, but from I, the I rap saying, music. Like, yeah, I, 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 I get the reference, console, sure. Like, like I, use, I'm, I play on 130 ping on my other connection. Uh-huh. And my computer connection was like 100 ping. Mm-hmm. This new one is 5 ping. Mm-hmm. Wonder what that feels like to play Call of Duty on. Go find out. I don't, I don't want to play Call of Duty though. <laughs> <laughs> I played it today. I had a good time. The um, I mean, she, you have a good time, like uh, I don't know, filing papers away or something. I mean, Call of Duty sucks. <laughs> what is that kind of rip it, Woody? <laughs> What, I, like, what I ain't trying to mean? rip it, but like, he, like I, Woody has some mundane activities, like watching Game of Thrones that I just don't see. Yeah, I'm not the same. I, I, I think there is a difference. Like, I think my default state is generally like happy and okay with things, and Wings's default state is not. No, my default state is like this shit's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. Being disordered. Yeah. If you told me that you were gonna blindfold me and take me someplace and show me a surprise, I'd be psyched, and Wings would be pissed. <laughs> <laughs> I, that ain't too far from the truth. Absolutely right, actually. What the fuck, man. Yeah. Like, you got to fucking blindfold me. Come on, dog. What are we ki- kids now? <laughs> just shoot me in the just shoot me in the head and get it over with, dog. Like, a surprise, a surprise. Man, I better not be a dick in my mouth when I open up. <laughs> Unless that dick is paying me 10 million dollars, then put that shit right in there. We're down. Yellow would do it. <coughs> Yellow pay me ten million dollars to put a dick in my mouth. Well, you already paid thirty five grand to get on the show, so. What yeah. we give him a discount or some shit? <laughs> yeah, because yeah, his content was that good. That's why. <laughs> uh, okay, we doing had, these lower rates now. I got the, I got, I got truck payments to make. I had somebody on my Minecraft server information in the description that uh, that actually thought the prices were true. They're like, do they people really? Pay, what did we say? Two hundred grand? Yeah, two hundred grand. 50 grand for a quarter episode yeah. and they're like do people really pay you that much ah, dude, yes. every, yes, every one do. of us will have a new f-150 we got that much to show oh, oh yeah that would be, it'd be amazing a check show. we will yeah just for you 200 grand we'll do it if the money's there we don't care you know what because you're playing on my minecraft server this is what woody would say i don't have a minecraft server Hundred twenty five thousand, because i like you, <laughs> you look nice Hook i like the up. look of you yeah so yeah, 125 grand, you get a full show. Is my, Kyle here? My yes. internet connection makes me wonder if I'm about to get like other people coming to my area. Well, probably. probably you mean people will migrate to your area for no, 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 much like Google. No, Fiber. I'm talking about like other <laughs> other companies that offer internet might be moving <laughs> into my area. A company oh, just okay. doesn't magically give you a discount and, and double your speed. Right. Yeah, Comcast did that when Google Fiber, when they were like, ah, oh, Google Fiber's not going to be anything. And then where did they try it out? Someplace in Kansas or Kentucky? It started in Kansas. Now, next it goes to Texas. And But every, you know, Comcast like, uh, but then everybody in Kansas is like, oh, my God, it's the greatest thing Wait. ever. And Comcast is like, oh, shit. Can I add a correction? I think it's Kansas City. And there's Kansas something, City? Yeah, and there's something confusing about Kansas City. It's both in Kansas and Missouri. I think the Missouri Kansas City is like the bigger one or something, or the more affluent one. Why the hell is there a Kansas City in Missouri? I don't know. Why is there a Paris in Texas? It's some because of this fucking shit America, sense. that's why. <laughs> yeah. There's a Paris in Tennessee too. Is there? I guess I. I it rings a bell I've now, been that there. You say it, now that you say it. So Kyle, you were quiet for the last twenty minutes or so, right? Yes. Be honest. What were you really doing? I was making some pasta. I've got that pasta made now, and I'm I'm eating that pasta. Is that what they call tranny um, porn? <laughs> no, no. You seem to be the one who was literally focused on the tranny porn earlier. But no, I was no, making no. this fashion. If I, if I remember the long history of PK. See how upset bring up, Kyle's always getting? great ideas. I remember Kyle always talking about trannies. Yeah, I, I, what I I'm mean, sensing what right talking here. about trucks, Kyle's talking about a tranny. You are honing in on Kyle's area. That's why he's upset. I, I'm, I'm not upset. I'm actually enjoying this fashion. He's like, Tranny porn is my thing. Back off. Fettuccine Alfredo, late night carbs. Kyle, what are you doing? Yeah, what the hell, Kyle? You gave Woody crap about his uh, ice his cream. Ice cream. I'm, I'm running tomorrow. You know, I'd tomorrow fight some like a you're big bowl of vanilla ice cream with like some Hershey yeah. shirt. No, you're not, you liar. <laughs> I am. I run on Saturdays. Bullshit. I run, I run to my refrigerator, water. too, Kyle. 
people watching this, I know Kyle. He's not running anywhere. I'll be at the park. See Kyle running with his smoker cough. He said he doesn't smoke anymore. And I think no. what he meant by that was he virtually doesn't smoke anymore. Like he's it's virtually. It, 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 at the time you were talking to him. <laughs> I quit. Hold on. I got to get enough of this pack That's over. A funny. That's a little funny. But, <laughs> but no, I, I don't, I'm not smoking nearly as much as I was. How many packs a day do you smoke now? Oh, no packs a day. Mm -hmm. Not a pack a week. So that would be two or three a day. Um, if I were, in fact, smoking a pack in a week, that would be two or three a day. But I'm not. Really? So, uh, so how, how far into the second week would that first pack last? Um, I don't know. I, I, I probably smoke a cigarette a day, something like that. This is like a... Algebra That's... math problem, like a train leaves. You have <laughs> yeah, one... I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I'm not even trying to make it I'm not a smoker. Anymore. I have in my head that there's 22 cigarettes in a pack. Is that right? 20. 20. 20. Flat 20. 20. Okay. 20 grade A cigarettes. It's on the bottom. Is it? Yeah. yeah. It is. Look at the federal you tax stamp, right cigarette. where the tax stamp is. I learned that from Beverly Hills Cop. Canadian cigarettes are really cool. They've got all those scary death warnings. <laughs> What do Make they say? Like a man, huh? They'll have like pictures of like cancerous lungs and stuff, and be like, "Cigarettes do cause cancer. This will be you." That's and it's a, like gruesome. That's a that's an amusing government to me. They're like, "We we need you to put this no, picture dude, dude. on your cigarettes." And, and <laughs> like the picture that they present you that you have to stick on there is like a cancerous lung with black tar in it. Mm -hmm. And they like our marketing people don't think it's a good idea to put black tar lungs in. Not your choice. Ask Mr. Uh, Mr. I try hard. He'll show you. He'll show you those evil Canadian cigarette packs. Or did he quit? I uh, quit. He did quit. He did yeah. quit. Yeah, he quit smoking and he lost a ton of weight. Well, I, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Looking good. How did he do that? Because then smoking at like a natural like. Yeah, it speeds your heart rate up. In it. That and it speeds your heart rate up and it makes you burn more calories. Yes, yes. When I see somebody who smokes and who's thin, like. So normally at like 30 or so, if you're still thin, I'm impressed. You know, it, like it, everybody's thin in their teens and 20s. That's nothing. But if you look like you're in shape in your 30s and higher, you've done something. But if they smoke, you're cheating. That doesn't count. You don't, I do not give you any credit for like healthy lifestyle if you're smoking and it keeps you thin looking. That's cheating. And you smell like shit anyway, so it's all good. Yes. Would you start... Would you start smoking for the weight loss potential wings? Hell no. But I've got this question for you. I will die of morbid obesity before I start smoking. Would you let a smoker be the guy that nails you in the ass? No. For the waste? Really? So that's the deal breaker, not the 11-inch schlong. It's the smell of cigarette smoke. I, could, I couldn't deal with that. I can't. Ugh. So I'm you with you, the actually. Escalade, the weekly... I could I could throw all that away. I couldn't live with a smoker. So you were willing to to mount a dildo on the chair of the Escalade every time you drove it, but smoker no no good. Mm -mm. You know what? It, like so, I don't know if I take it to the same extreme you do, but I, if there's a regular behavior that the hypothetical single Woody would consider an instant showstopper, smoking would be high on that list, maybe at the top. Like, you know, oh, does she bite like her fingernails? I don't give a crap if she bites I don't even have to light it. I don't like the look of, like, a girl with a cigarette in her mouth. I would sooner date hmm. a public nose picker than I would a smoker. Hey, in a roll public nose pickers. They're sharing the, the gold with the town. <laughs> <laughs> I, I would sooner date, like, I don't know. You know, it, 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 <laughs> I, I'm, I'm getting gross here. I don't think I want all this to say. I would talk kiss Monica Lewinsky on national television. <laughs> and date a yeah. smoker there's not much a smoker can do to overcome it and i don't care who she is right she could be um that chick from harry potter whatever the hell her name is and uh <laughs> oh, hey, yeah you're not fooling anybody with that one emma something watson you know her watson. i you know her name. i'm glad you know this all is it emma watson you don't have goddamn television i, I get so. emma stone and emma watson mixed up I think emma watson yeah hey, you jerk your dick didn't you? no um I know it sometimes. Like it's not like I can never recall her name, but whatever. The Harry Potter chick is to me almost a perfectly shaped woman, and if she was a smoker, hypothetical single Woody would move on. Hermione would never smoke. 
Hermione's smoking though. See what yes. it is. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> she's Diggity. over eighteen, right? Somebody tell me that. She's gotta know. be. She's in her twenties or something, right? I think she's fourteen. Like Twenty two, twenty three now. <laughs> yeah, all right. She's perfectly 12, fine 13. to objectify. <laughs> yeah, she's 23. 23? All right, we're good. Objectify the fuck out of her. <laughs> <laughs> uh... All right, Wing, give us a topic. Me? Um, I think it's left. He's turned. <laughs> Tell me I'm going. <laughs> That's not fair. <laughs> um, here, uh, you guys can... Lindsay... We... Are we just going to talk about WoodyCraft.net all night long? Go for it. Tell us what's going on on WoodyCraft.net. <laughs> I didn't even. That was meant to be a joke. Although I could. God, I. I am working super hard on it. It's amazingly popular. We just became the fourth highest ranked server on like the, I think it's called MinecraftServers.org or something like the list of them. We're fourth on planet Earth, and we spotted everyone like a twenty-hour head start. It, it, we had 1,200 people on the server today, 12-something, 12 1,250, I don't know. I am awake, always on there, admining, hanging out with users or whatever. It's It's been dominant in my life lately, and uh, it's fun. It's neat. It's a whole new, exciting thing, but uh, I... I don't know. It's, it's been dominating my life too. It's cool. I don't know. It's, it's a whole, it's a big venture for me and I'm excited about it. It's like I started a big thing and I think we're up to like eight or nine servers now for all these different game types that we offer. And it's just mm -hmm. expanding from there. Oh, I, yeah, we, I'm looking to be the best on the planet and nothing else. Like if I see something that's not excellent about it, we have to address that and make it excellent. Good sucks. Excellent rocks. Uh, all right, here's here's a topic. I uh, go on, go ahead, wings. The pain weight loss diet. Basically, dentists <laughs> have this new diet that they'll that will sew a mesh patch onto the top of your tongue that makes eating solid foods painful. <laughs> that, okay. Hmm. That you pretty much have to drink everything that you eat. You down? Yeah. I'm a masochist, so I wouldn't lose any weight. <laughs> so like, you're the guy with the cage? Oh. You're the guy with the cage. Give it up. Tell the truth. No, no, I'm I'm not that kind of masochist. You can, you can beat me with a stick. I'll be happy. But, uh, you know, <laughs> penis stuff is a little too much for me. The average weight loss is anywhere from 18 to 20 pounds. What, time, what kind of time frame? A month. That's that's about normal, though. Like, like if I was dieting. I'd lose about 18 to 20 pounds a month. It's something like five pounds a week. For people that don't know the lingo, the, you, you know the whole sex thing where like the woman like has a cane and she's hitting the guy or vice versa. The one hitting is a sadist. The one who enjoys being hit is a masochist. And together, the act is called S&M, sadist and or sadomasochism. So yeah, I'm in sadomasochism. Or does uh, sadism and domination... So Citizen anyway, bondage. my man back there. These is guys masochist. are basically doing the clockwork orange <laughs> bullshit. They only put it in there for 30 days, but they're kind of trying to teach your body what and what not to do. And it kind of gets you over the period where you're still craving stuff because there's a hump in everything. Like Kyle's probably went through the hump when he's quit smoking. You get to the point where you desire a cigarette really bad, but if you get over like that two week period, it's yeah. not as bad. I've normal. always heard it was longer. Like it, the number burned in my head is seven weeks. You do something for seven weeks, and it's no longer something you're trying. It's your, it's your habit. It's your lifestyle. Mm -hmm. And like, oh my god, but this is wrong. And it's all women that are showing on this ad. Well, I don't know why women are so, so subjective about their body. Like seriously. Oh, who's not subjective about their body? I'm not. I don't give two flat fucks how uh, how much I weigh. I hate my weight because of how it makes me feel mm -hmm. and how it's hard to actually do things a normal human, human being can do, such as tying your shoes, driving a car, or using public transportation. I believe... Hot scotch! <laughs> I believe you feel that way right now as you say it, but I would also war or, you know, be willing to bet that there are other times when you wish that you didn't have the negative social implications. Rock climbing! Weight. I mean, negative social implications meaning fuck nards making fun that I'm fat and using my Twitter as a uh, forum to express all their fat goals. Yeah, and by the way, I've adopted fuck nards as an endearing term. 
Yes, yes, you can't be mad about that anymore. Yeah, you, you know, you know, we've revoked your right to be mad, and I'm a fuck darn myself. So Believe me, it. I can make up something worse. I did take creative writing in high school. <laughs> Good to know. Um, has any? Have you guys been thinking about your Wings of Redemption lightning round questions? Hmm. Mm-hmm. The question is, and let me go and answer a bunch of them really quick. No, no, no. Um, we need to. No, 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 no. I can just do it like here. Well, Lefty's not here. I'll eat anything that isn't seafood. <laughs> <laughs> I've got my first one. All right, now look at this bullshit. A feeding tube diet. Yeah. <sighs> Kyle, do you have questions? Um, I'm compiling a list right now. I wonder how much I weigh, dude. Seriously, that scale needs, doesn't need to get here. Uh, you should take bets. And, what's the uh, max weight on the scale? I, I give you 450. Max, do a raffle. Max weight. I'm nowhere close to 550. No, you dude, said 450. Do a, dude, sell raffle tickets and they where they're guessing your weight. It's like 465 is my number. 465 put me down. Uh, I'm hoping I'm not 465. I'm I don't thinking... know shit about heavyweight. Once you get past like 300, all those numbers are the same to me. Like I can't no, no, I can tell three. He's 300. Okay, uh-huh. well, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. You guys have seen me stand up, right? Yeah. Okay. Physically, how much do you think I weigh? 465. Okay. Not even close. <laughs> I told you. Once you get past 300. Right, I'll, I'll stand up again, okay? Uh-huh. Well, he's like 3,000 kilos. <laughs> I don't know. What is it? What is it? Fuck Kyle? That's right. <laughs> uh-huh. See, what do I look like? 465. 465. No, not even close. Okay, let me guess again. 465. <laughs> 30, 30, is that 30, lottery today or something? 35 gallons. <laughs> no, here's what I can. So when you were, when you're sitting down, it's not totally clear to me, like who's bigger. Like it, it, when I first saw you on camera a week or two ago, like yeah. I was like, ah, oh, you know, they're, whatever. They're both big guys. Um, but when you move around, I can see how much more agile you are. Like when Wings moves around, like even to like turn the AC on or off or something, he moves in a different way. He's got almost like an old man walk. Like he has to deal with his balance. And you don't. Yeah, it's because my weight is distributed pretty well evenly throughout my body. Mm-hmm. I have a bigger frame. Like I'm, I if I were to just to lose the belly, and you know the man boobs, mm-hmm. and you know go like you know Chris Redfield, not like uh, Resident Evil, you know one or Veronica, like you know Resident Evil Six, where he's like you know <clears throat> I could do it because my frame could support it. I'm a bigger frame than what you. What just do. happened? Actually, you have a smaller frame. <laughs> That's not, not not as big because look, if you look where, can you see him? You I love these size <laughs> comparison videos we have. But if you this, look, this is he bone. carries. This is bone. He I carries. have a bigger frame than you. He Chris. carries. Wings. All what kind of pants are you wearing? Belly off. Belly off. Uh, he's got me on that one. Mine. You know, <laughs> I, I got nothing. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. I wanted to mark down for the record. That one was me, not Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> when that shows up in gift form, what he made this happen. <laughs> but, All uh, right. Somebody grab the Sharpies and go, go for it right now. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know, but like, my, no, don't do that, man. <laughs> no, 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 no. You want some eyes? And, <laughs> yes. 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 Take him. <laughs> Put, the, wash off put the eyeballs on the belly. It must have him. I, 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 I want him to like forcibly draw things on wings. <laughs> but um, wait. wait all my weight goes to my arm belly wrestling? for some reason. Huh? You guys never arm wrestled, did you? We did. We did. Did left handed. I can't arm wrestle right now. On my with my right hand. Okay. What happened to your? Was it your shoulder? Yeah. Um. The the new job. Okay. I was out of work for like six months. Mm-hmm. And I go back to a job where the repetitive motion is this, and I've had a fucked up right rotator cuff since I was 17 because of football. Right, because of football, not repetitive motion. No, really, right, right hand. Football. Carry on. You gained the weight recently. Yeah, a lot of this I... weight just packed on recently. I've always, 
sat around 250 to 285 until about maybe about two, three years ago. Bro to bro, um, I had a repetitive injury issue, a repetitive motion injury issue when I was 17 as well. We've all been there. Yeah, <laughs> but a lot of the problem is I've been out of work. Was your scarpal hard. tunnel, Woody? Yours was this, not this. <laughs> All but right. I mean, you know, since I'm since I'm getting back into work, I've only been there about a month and a half. I have to get used to this motion of the slicer and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's aggravating my rotator cuff and my wrist. Hmm. So. Kyle, how many hey, questions do you have? Up. Three right now. How many what? Questions. Oh, three. Why the hell are these girls that look fucking amazing on this fucking diet where they stick a damn thing up their nose? Up their nose? Yeah, this it's a it's a feeding tube diet. They go to the doctor, he gives them a bag of food that they need to ingest for the day, and they put a tube up their nose and the <laughs> that's bag. That's bullshit. That's just bullshit. If that's your diet, go fuck yourself. <laughs> you fucking spineless fuck. Go go fucking Walmart and get some. God, I can't believe there are people who are going and having a doctor feed them through a tube because they can't control their calories, and that's their alternative. That's the most absurd thing I've ever heard. It, it looks wow. absurd, but he, this, this motherfucker here is losing weight. He Lefty, is. how you doing with your lightning round questions? Uh, awesome. Oh, oh God, look at this high. You're about to be exposed. Oh, crap. Um, I have three. Kyle, you still at three? Four. Damn it. Damn it. Oh, shit, boys. What, did Lefty go off and insult some, more, some minorities or something? <laughs> See this right here would suck fucking ass, dude. Sitting in front of people while I'm working. Yeah, dude, he's he's out he's 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 out to dinner with his friends right now, and like he's sitting there drinking a glass of water while everybody's eating fucking pasta and shit around him. Oh fuck that! I'd be eating, I'd be enjoying the pain. You'd see me eating that bowl of pasta with an erection. Oh yeah. This is that bullshit like Brandy always wanted to do. Uh, what? I Eat pasta with an no, 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 no. Fucking <laughs> stupid ass diet. Like, Brandy was on this diet that she ate 500 goddamn calories a day, and she's wondering why she was lightheaded. Because she didn't have enough to go. That's ridiculous. You don't, you, you're not a 200 pound little short girl, and then take 500 calories in, and then go and, like, do daycare as a job. I have five. Kyle, where are you now? I still have four. Woody, oh. would you think of the ash for financial security for the rest of your life? You know, the thing is you're talking to me now. I I, I feel like I can do it without all the butt sex. Um, but we there might, was a like time when I'd have lined up with wings and been like, I could learn to like it. Yeah. You know, that's, talk about how much financial security. Too Some people crave it in the world. Maybe I, I can learn to do it too. Like, you would never have to worry about a thing in your life. If you said, okay, I want to choose, right there, you'd have them. How about yeah, this? Yeah. How, so, how about the wealth is so good that it goes on to generations past you? There so, you go. Oh, see, that's a different kind of wealth. Like, there's one thing of, I feel like, remember I talked about movie theater money? <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I, I walk into a movie theater, and it's like, if I want Jujubes and M&Ms, make that happen. I, like, I, this, uh I'm going to sound like a douche, so just please forgive me. If I go to like a store like Target, I can have the stuff in it pretty much. Not all of it at once, right? But like most of the items that you find on the shelves at Target won't break me. That's one kind of financial security. On the other hand, a yacht, that's beyond me. Like that, that would a, a new home. We'd like a new home right now, and I'm really scared about the financial commitment that a new home would have. So it's not like I'm rolling deep, deep, but, you know... I can I can toss out four dollars and and not have to. to I hate, I, I hate how you paint me like this horrible person with money. I and pretty much all I've wait, fucked wait, wait. up. I wasn't painting you at all, right? I know, but I, I feel like you you look at me as like this stupid, irresponsible person with money. I won't explode on one item in five years. That he'll show on camera. What else have I splurged on? I saw that thing in your drawer that vibrates. Don't lie. I don't got nothing in my door to vibrate. Denial. <laughs> please please, please tell us about okay. all the things you've Why would I even do that? Done. Brandy sold I mean, sex toys as a second job. She had like hundreds of them. Wait, wait, wait. 
Wait. Wait. Wait. Wait. Use your words. Oh, Kyle, Chris. are you ready for uh, for the lightning round? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have six. Do you, are you probably in the same I, ballpark? I, I have I have five. I guess okay. I guess. So eleven, is that enough? Le- Lefty, you got one? I got some, yeah. All right, okay. we'll alternate. Kyle, sure. Kyle, then Woody, then Lefty until we run out. Kyle, Woody, Lefty. Got it. All right. Okay. Uh, wings as quickly as possible without trailing off too much. What would your job be in medieval times? Oh, my job in medieval times? I would – oh, the get the restaurant medieval times or the actual no, medieval the, times? No, the actual medieval times, the um, period of time. I'd probably jester. I'd have to be something I'd, – I'd like king. But I don't feel like I could do a, j- a good job as the king because if he fucks up, he gets beheaded. But I guess the jester got beheaded too. They just like kill the motherfuckers. Let's back just then. stick with jester, Woody. <laughs> I I want to answer the question. I think I'd be a cobbler. It just strikes me as the guy that works, keeps his head down, and gets it done. The question. Yeah, I know. I cheated. <laughs> All right, wings, wings. This let me do my w- question. Lightning round. I ruined it. Would a coke can diameter wiener affect your opinion on the ass sex financial security <laughs> thing? A coke can diameter p. You said wiener. Peter? I said Wiener, but Peter works. Huh. Yes, that would. <laughs> <laughs> Deal's off. Ten more seconds on his agreement. <laughs> um. Okay. Lefty, question. Wings, your thoughts on fracking. Go. <laughs> Don't know what the fuck it is. <laughs> Where they, they pump water and other chemicals. No, I can't. He, he already answered. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, what's the best color? Blue. Okay. Okay. Do you wear pajamas in public? On occasion. Would you eat your dog? Depends how hungry I was. <laughs> <laughs> lefty, lefty, we skipped lefty. Cupcakes or pie? Cupcakes. Who's I'm that more mobile. Yes. Would you eat with your nose for six months to get thin? No. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Could you beat up Lefty if you took him by surprise? <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. Lesbian or tranny porn? Tranny. Good call. Um, I got to have a penis in my porn. I think we discovered discussed this before. Best video game ever made. Best video game ever made. Oh. That's a hard one. That is a hard one. What about Alcarina? I don't know. I mean, it's an opinion, but I want to go with something that pisses people off, so I'm going to say Call of Duty. Oh, nicely oh. done. <laughs> Which one? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Which one? Please say Black Ops 2. I'm going to say Modern Warfare 3. Oh, that's the best one? You yeah, Call of Duty 3 would have also been acceptable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, if a girl wants you to lick her bum, the middle, you down? Yes. Word association. I say PKA subreddit. You think? Fuck nards. <laughs> Kyle? I'm sorry, what's the question? Uh, you're asking the question. I am out of questions. That was all of mine. Wings, favorite food? My favorite food is pizza. I have that. Yeah, I got that out of him last time. Okay, Lefty? I'm out. Favorite sex toy? Last question. The rabbit. There it is. Or anal beads. If you could suck your dick, would you put it on a porn channel? Depends on how much they pay. Five dollars. No. Mm. If you could suck your dick, what would you do during the finish? What would you do? Swallow. I would. I wouldn't swallow it. I mean, would you dodge your own cum? Because technically, oh, he's a cum dodger. (laughs) He's a cum dodger. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, wings redemption outed his cum dodger. (laughs) <laughs> you know you think you know a person <laughs> so you find out that they dodge their own cum <laughs> they could perform oh. that on themselves Okay. you know what I want to throw out there I think PKA is pretty good tonight yeah we do a good job yeah, yeah it's alright yeah. we're pretty good at this I don't understand where, why we're not on XM radio at this point I don't know what's holding us back yeah, it's I think it's racism. Maybe the Nazi propaganda. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone points to Lefty. <laughs> you know who doesn't mind your your racism? 
This uh, nope. Asian Norwegian dude, yellow. I wish we all lived in more predominant areas. The only person that could do it, and I feel like he wouldn't be able to do it, is like Lefty. And we need to get like homeless people on here playing guitars and shit. You get a homeless, like a home, a homeless person talent show or something. <laughs> that, that's a brilliant where idea. Did, where did that come from? I don't know. Howard Stern, I'm sure down. it's got to be right. It's what the most, it's what most shock jocks do, and that's technically what we are. We're shock jocks. I, I haven't stole that idea now. Show. I haven't stole the idea. I just played off on other ideas of like. Then bring oh no 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 no! The PK shows find some. Yeah right. They'll but see, this could be like a recruitment thing. Like you, like you're a baseball scout. You go out and find love, the homeless guy with the best talent. I love how much attention the fuckards have had tonight. Like, <laughs> like you know, just like. <laughs> if you want to be a fucknard, you can join us at Reddit slash Rape Squad Killers. Yeah, we have got to change that subreddit. Maybe so, I I need to register. Reddit I don't know how we got nards. associated with the Rape Squad Killers. That's like one bit. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even tell you what episode it was on. I would argue this. I think that some of the bits that we do on this show are comparable to the more cowbell thing. And, and hear me out on this. So if you watch that Saturday Night Live skit where, you know, they, they just keep needing more cowbell. The guy's listening to it. He's like a bad producer or something. And he's like, it sounds okay, but it needs more cowbell. It needs more cowbell. If you watch it again, I think you'll find on a funny scale of 1 to 10 – I'm talking like a six here like it's not that great but it's gone down in history as one of the greatest saturday night live skits ever to have been done it's like the the meme around it the, it the pretty much made christopher walken's career yeah it, it it's i don't i don't even know if that's true but it, anyway it, no it, it's gone down as this really legendary thing but if you actually watch it it was only okay i think sometimes like while painkiller already is good and it's had its moments of real excellence the Rape Squad Killers thing, I think, was fun. But if you watch it again, you'll be like, oh, I wonder how that got so big. I wonder how it became this thing that, like, a year later. I, I think I think about. it's just the whole the whole idea of the name itself. Like, the name is out there. Like, who would name themselves yeah. the Rape Squad Me, Killers? Kyle. Me, that's yeah. an FPS. <laughs> that was a Kyle thing, yeah. He, yeah. he was He was like, you know, we'll forever be known as the Rape Squad Killers. And then we all laughed. And then I immediately made a Rape Squad Killer subreddit, be or not subreddit, t-shirt for sale before the stream was over. <laughs> yeah. I have a and topic that's... We've Bash back on. That was the last show with Bash. That was... The, well, we brought Lefty in, and there's been no black guest since. <laughs> that's a true thing. Look it up. That is a true thing. You, <laughs> you historians, uh, look into PKA. We haven't had a black guest since Lefty got on the and show. And in case you're wondering, the only yes, Asian there is a reason. magically disappeared. <laughs> Um, I've got a question that's kind of a serious thing. Uh, not like, I don't, it's just real life. It's not that dramatic. My wife wants a new home. And it's frightening for me because I really, really value financial security. Like, I don't ever want to have a loan again or anything like that. But uh, we're contemplating buying a new house. And I was talking to my father about it. And he's like, you know, one of the reasons you chose... North Carolina and my area of North Carolina, give me 20 seconds to lay this out. They spent, they made these special zoning laws that high tech companies get like tax breaks or something. And like only high tech companies can set up and research Toronto park, which is where I live. And um, so now this area is dominated by like engineering jobs, whether they be like you know, computer scientists or uh, pharmaceutical people or doctors or whatever, like these engineering jobs uh, dominate this area. But as it stands today, I could live almost anywhere with a good internet connection and do what I do. Like I could go to Kansas City. Get, that's Wings, what are you doing? <laughs> Wings, you're making it worse. Wings, that's... He's like, don't worry about it. <laughs> He's like... So, so anyway, um, if you were to buy a globe and say, I need to live somewhere with a good internet connection and then pick that spot, what would you do? Like, if you were just to open the door and say, I could live anywhere, where are you picking? Is it your same neighborhood now? That's a serious candidate. We're happy where we are. We might buy in the same go, town or a town nearby, or we could literally say, like, Austin, Texas. I would stay where, in a, and I'd stay in relatively close to the field you were in before in case YouTube takes a dip. Sure. That's smart mm -hmm. advice, you know? Yeah. Um, 
you can always have our theory. We uh, we decided that uh, once we got our, everything situated, we were going to put a map of the United States on a wall, give dark star kids and let them throw, and wherever it landed, we'd choose one of the two places. But you're homeless. That's, That's bad advice. <laughs> That's almost what, That's that dart hit wings of redemption, and here we are. <laughs> That's right. What, before I moved to North Carolina... What happened to me was this. I was working for a company, and I was young, and I was arrogant, and I thought I was amazing And um, uh, at my job. And it was like, I am a top 10% employee. This is not a top 10% company. They no longer deserve me. And I bought a map of the United States because I decided I wanted to live in the U.S. Like, I didn't want to change that. Anyone out there probably feels similar about their own country. And the, the map was big. I mean, it was like 50 inches wide and you know, 36 inches tall and it was of the United States and it had all these towns on it. And Jackie and I just like discussed it. Like on the, we put it on the floor and we're sitting on the carpet and we're like, what about Texas? What about California? What about North Carolina? And, um, we picked, we narrowed it down to two places. It was actually Austin. Cause you know, Dell computers, they were like booming at the time. And that was a place I was willing to work. And then in North Carolina, there were two employers. One was Red Hat Linux and the other was Cisco. And I was like, these are the places I want to work for the best companies and live in the best places in the country. And I applied for jobs. And that's how I landed here in North Carolina. And I'm almost, if we're looking at homes, kind of thinking, well, let's open the door to that kind of exercise again. Where in the, where in the world do you guys want to live? New Zealand. I'd never want to live out the South. You're an online gamer and you pick New Zealand? <laughs> man, I'm gonna walk the path of Lord of the Rings. I don't care about games. I'm going to I'm going to the the mountain of fire. <laughs> I hear you, but the premise behind this though is that you know I would have the same current job that I do now, and if I lived Not in New, New Zealand, Zealand, I think I'd greatly regret. I think I don't even know, but you I just had this idea. Are we talking about where you're going yeah, or where I'm going? Here. Where I'm going? I oh, guess wow. I don't know. Actually, that's a good question. Yeah, I'm going to New Zealand. You can go to you need to go to Tennessee and not pay any state income tax. <laughs> Tennessee. Yeah, but food taxes are expensive. And, and that's like I hear Tennessee, right? And I think, oh, all woods and poor education. But that's not true. I mean, there's all kinds of people in Tennessee. There's Lots a of place country to music. <laughs> there's a place in Tennessee. Is it like Huntersville or something like that's booming with like high tech jobs? Hmm. I was reading about it. Like every place has. Oh, wait. you you think? Oh, you move to Texas, it'll be like. It's it, not that I don't want to live with Republicans or have some sort of problem, but the the image of Texas is that they're like so far to the right that they're, you know, they enter crazy town, and that's not true. There's there's lots of people in Texas all over the place. You know, the, there are places in Texas that are liberal, that are conservative, etc. And it, anyway, I don't know where I'm headed with that. Lefty, where are you going to live? I can go anywhere. Yeah, but you're going to be a YouTuber, entertainer kind of person. You may have to visit California every so often because entertainment happens there. Yeah, I'd, I want to live, I'd like to live somewhere warm-ish, but not completely and ridiculously hot. North Carolina. Maybe San Francisco? Maybe? Because it's, it's like close to L.A. It's like, it's warm, but not too hot. There's... You know, there's baseball teams, football teams. You know, it's got all the modern amenities. and I don't know what y'all do for a living. Just earthquakes scare me, though. So, you, I don't know. You don't know what we do for a living, Wings? Because, like, I, I do the YouTube job. I've done it for a while now. And, like, I don't get to see the outside. So, the outside is pretty much irrelevant to me at this point. I don't so see I'd that's based possible. based internet connection. So, I'd go Kansas City. I mean, it's, it's it seems like I notice what Woody does whenever he goes on, you know, a trip somewhere is he does, like, a... He works extra hard and does like a week's worth of work on top of his normal week's worth of work. So he's, you know, he'd be away for a week and just schedule upload. I would go to Okinawa. <laughs> Dude, really? you're too big to go to Japan. That doesn't matter. Japan doesn't I, I, fit I love, you. Love, love, eat fish and rice for the rest of my life. I'd drop that weight quick. And then, you know, Okinawa has the I like greatest how, roller I, I, coasters I, in I, the world. I like how he just pains, pains off his weight like it's going to fall off. It doesn't work that way, dude. Sure it does. Dedicated diet, hard work, you can drop it off. Name one motherfucker that's had kept weight off. And vitamins, eat your vitamins. Kids. Jared, Andy. from Jared fucking has, Subway. Let me look up a picture of Jared right now for you. Is he uh, swimming in like a pool full of cash? That's, hmm. that's Jared. 
Jared from Subway. Yeah, he looks a hell of a lot better than he did than when he started it. There he is right now. Yeah, he's still light. He's not. He's not. He's not the Jared from the commercials no more. No, but he's not. Link, link in the description. Pl- or link in the chat, please. Yeah, I want to see I this. I think with this one because it's a uh, image from Google. Right click, copy image URL. He is by no means a heavy man, but he is chubby at this point. That's what fame does to you. Yeah, you get millions of dollars to pimp sandwiches. You guys been eating sub sandwiches for 15 years. Yeah, every every new thing they come out with, he's got to pimp it and eat it and be like, "Hi, <laughs> I love this new barbecue lard thing. I like it. It's so good." I see what Wings is saying. This is a guy who's in a lifelong fight for fitness. Mm-hmm. And he's... like he he is one bad month away from breaking. Is that guy wearing a Murder, She Wrote t-shirt? I don't want that. <laughs> I keep bringing up David Smith. I don't know if anybody's actually bothered to look him up. Like He is the prime example of this. This is a 600-pound man that was ready to burn himself up in a, in a pool so his family wouldn't have to have a, a, a piano box as a casket to bury. So he's going to burn his body up in a pool of gasoline. And then he lost every bit of it. He, he went from 600 pounds all the way down to whatever the actual weight is, 180 or something. Had people lobby to get the skin cut off of him. Get the skin cut off him. Found a girlfriend. Became a physical trainer as his career because he was so good at working out. He is 550 pounds right now. He lost 50. <laughs> what net. That's a net. That's a net loss right there. He was, had, he you see, I told you my default state year. is happy. <laughs> <laughs> he was on Oprah last year, and they asked him why, why did he fall off the bandwagon, and he goes, I, he goes, I don't know. I mean, like, it started out with me like eating uh, McDonald's like it was a drug. Like I would eat it before I come home, and I throw the wrappers away at the gas station so my girlfriend wouldn't see it. Oh. It's an addiction. It is an addiction. And but with your enough dedication, the addiction you can drop point. it. Dedication, you want that dedication for the rest of your goddamn life. That's right. I've never seen And I want to ride those fucking roller coasters for the rest of my life, so I'm going to be dedicated. Dude, you know, it's <laughs> I've never seen you hold a job for six months, and you won't talk about dedication. Oh, shit. I don't want to do weight talk too long. Spears. But if I had this addiction, I'd address it the same way that other people address their addictions who had success, right? That like one minute at a time, five minutes at a time, one day at a time. You know, and, and these guys celebrate success even in small increments. You know, you, your one day chip is a chip that they value. Your one month chip, your three month chip, you know, of not falling off the wagon. You Sponsors, with that stuff. Disorders. Yeah, it, it, like you, you need a you know an, an oh, eaters wait, anonymous. I, I have no clue. Well, what was it? Andy said he was like, you know, yeah, if you fall, like he's like, I fell during my you know the the his struggle with alcoholism and eating but he said that you know the thing is you just kind of get up next day just because you screw up one day doesn't derail well, everything I've been listening to that doing. I've been listening to that good like I I've, I've lost inches on my waist in the last two and a half weeks three weeks maybe mm-hmm. okay like um like my appetite is pretty much broken at this point like I've pretty much been eating whatever sub he brings home for me I make a pretty damn good sub, all right. I, I don't. I mean, it's by no means a healthy sub. What do you think? This thing's about 800 calories a piece. That's that's lean roast beef, man. Yeah, but you cover that bitch <laughs> in mayonnaise. <laughs> so <laughs> it's still lean roast beef. Mm-hmm. Mayonnaise yes. bread. Mayonnaise, mayonnaise carries Pro calories. Alone. Carries a lot of it. Some um, mayo, lettuce, yeah. the green sandwich green. talk. I was just gonna say <laughs> new topic, but I I don't have a new topic. So somebody help me. Edward yeah. Snowden granted. Uh, Next, uh, or granted entry amnesty, to Russia. Amnesty, entry, entry to Russia. Anybody else feels happy that he got amnesty? Asylum. I don't, think, I, I don't feel like Snowdom is actually a criminal. Me too. I'm thankful for the exposure. All right, so for people who don't know, there's this guy, Edward Snowden. Did I pronounce it correctly? Mm-hmm. Yes. Because I learned it all by reading and pronounced like crap. Uh, <laughs> Edward, <laughs> Edward Snowden is the guy who outed the NSA as collecting all of our telephone traffic data, right? So... Like everyone that lefties called, everyone that you know lefties called, and who they've called, and it goes on down the line. And they have this big sort of associative database of everyone who calls everyone, and then they have the other metadata about the call: how long the call is, when the call happened, and, and etc. And then of course they can always trace, you know, match that phone number through a name. 
that's the data that's been like really locked down. And then since then, we've learned how much about how they're collecting our emails and all sorts of other stuff that you would think would be private, right? America talks about how they're free and they really, really stress that, but we really live in a surveillance state. And things, since things have gone electronic, all the laws that used to protect our privacy have found themselves being out of date. You know, they can't open your mail. Your mail is genuinely private. They don't, they don't open that stuff before it gets to your mailbox. But your email, fuck you. You know, they, they'll open your email and look into it and completely violate privacy where that doesn't happen in the old school stuff. So somewhere along the way we got protected and then technology made that protection obsolete. And Snowden outed what we all suspected, which is we're not as private as we thought we were. The counter argument is, and like Bill Mayer made this, he's like, this isn't a no brainer. This is a brainer. This is a, like, it, they actually can use this data to track bad guys. They actually can use this data to link together criminal networks. Like, there's definitely a value in people who have good intentions in being able to know all this data. Who said that? Bill Mayer, you know, on the HBO thing, real time with Oh, Bill, Bill Maher. Maher said that? Bill Maher? Okay. Oh, I, I didn't I, know he was that much of a piece of shit. Then fuck him. Yeah, I, I pronounce everything wrong. So anyway, um, so Bill Maher was saying like, ah, you know, we know this has been done. We just haven't really been paying attention to it. And there is, and uh, he's, he's right, but I don't like it. So he's right in that if the police have all this data, it will help them track down criminals. But he's wrong in that that makes this assumption that the data will only be used for good. And even if you trust our current government, you can't enable a future government you don't know yet to have this kind of power and privacy violation on your behalf. So, um, yeah, you know, like whatever. If you gave me all your phone number records or something, it'd be fine. I wouldn't even look. But if you just start handing that out, someone's going to violate your privacy in a way that you do care about. And yeah, so that's Edward Snowden has been, Russia said, all right, I recognize the America is trying to lock you up. Um, mm -hmm. Obama had this thing on how he would protect whistleblowers on his website. Like it was one of his campaign promises. Got rid of that. Suddenly when yeah, the whistle was started. Was .gov, wasn't it? I'm not positive. By but, the way, um, don't make the mistake between whitehouse.gov and whitehouse.com. I look at, I look completely at this. different sites. Mm -hmm. I, look yes. at, I look at this at, uh, as like the TSA. It's just a fucking worthless job. How many terrorists had the TSA stopped? Zero. zero? Mm -hmm. It's zero. Z zero. Zero is the number they've stopped. Do you feel safer that they're there? Nope. There is a counter argument to that. I hate to make it because I don't even like it, but it's this. Like, like, let's say, Wings, that your house is getting robbed every day, right? Every day there's a goddamn you know, robber busting down your front door and stealing stuff from you. What's he stealing every day, though? I, I guess less and less each bad. time. <laughs> <laughs> Your couches are nice. So, <laughs> so, um, and then suddenly you hire a security guard, you position him in front of your front door and you're never getting robbed anymore. How many burglars has he stopped? Zero, right? No one comes anymore. They don't even try it. Yeah, but here's the thing. There was no really online, there's very, very few terrorist acts before them. I mean, you can't really plead like, oh, well, none's happened since we put the thing in effect. No, no. I'm not, if there was no security headed on the planes, it's quite possible that people would just. Let me point out. Let me point out another time. system we have in this country that has that same that works on that same premise. The checkpoints in Texas, where you have to prove if you're an American citizen. They check you. They stop you for drugs. Does that stop immigrants getting into this country? probably catches a couple but most don't go through the checkpoint correct mm -hmm. what's what's to say you can't get pie by that point what's to say you can't i mean that they're, they're only in one little bottleneck but they're not that's not a perfect comparison i i think there is a certain truth to the fact that there people don't try to get guns and other weapons on planes because it's tougher and they do something else but the other thing is this i don't understand what's so sacred about planes like, what is so great about airports and planes that make them wonderful, wonderful targets? They're, like, it's a, I chalk it up to, it's like the thing, um, you know how people all the time talk about how, oh, well, flying is, statistically speaking, mm -hmm. much safer than going in a car. Well, my counter argument is, is like, well, that may be true, but I've been in a few car accidents, and I'm alive. 
how many plane incidents can you survive? Because if a plane, if there's a serious problem with a plane, I, I think that's you're, based off you're dead. Well, the the thing with the planes is they're more regulated, and uh, there's there's less there's there's less chance of you dying because there's not mm -hmm. you don't you have you have a trained person driving it, you have a person that has a lot of responsibility. Whereas a car, you can have a teenage girl driving it and. She's most likely going to kill herself much faster than a trained pilot. But there's been pilots that showed up to work drunk and tried to fly to Paris. You know who sucks at driving? Yellow? Say it, Lefty. Um, Norwegians? <laughs> you know I was going with Asians. Asian Yellow, our sponsor for this week. Yes. No, no, no. That's why I said because he's, a, he's an Is a that a legit Asian. fact, though, or is it just like a stereotype? Stereotype. What? Although I'll... For people who haven't lived in the country uh, the whole time, so I'm from Jersey, when they if they're new, not like American Asians, but Asians who move here from elsewhere, they often drive poorly in the snow. Like that's been my observation. I can tell you that's not an Asian poorly. thing. Teenage white girls. Southerners drive poorly in the snow as well. Mm -hmm. I probably drive. I try. I probably drive poorly in the snow because I've never done it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like. I yeah. I think it snowed twice here in my entire life. Really. We get snow in North Carolina probably every other year. That's because you're a little bit north. So you're driving north. snow every yeah. year. It's... In South Carolina, yeah. we have humidity. Like, in our Jersey, humidity is, like, crazy. In Jersey, you'll drive in snow, you know, a lot, right? And some days there's snow that lasts for a week or two. Mm -hmm. it's... And that's the other thing that people don't realize, like, when they're coming up from southern states and stuff and they, they go to, to places with winter um, – it's like during the winter they're like, oh, it's so cold out, I gotta go drive. But the, what they don't realize is you gotta start your car and let it run for like 15, 20 minutes before it's like fully ready to go. Otherwise, you're gonna hurt something. I saw oh, Woody drive right the block heater, Lefty. I saw Woody drive through a blizzard and up a mountain in like a fucking I don't know Honda Echo or some shit. <laughs> I remember that thing in Vermont. <laughs> It was the shittiest little <laughs> mini car I've ever so seen. So horrible. It what? was like it was a miniature like it was like a Toyota Echo or something. I don't know what it was. It was very very tiny. It was and, so small. It was like, it was almost looked like a Mini Cooper, but it was a cheap crappy thing. It was like a smart car by Japan. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I don't know how he made it up that mountain because it was a legit blizzard. Like there were feet of snow on the ground. Yeah. But there were, there were like jeeps stuck on the side of the road that I'm passing in this Prius like I'll, bullshit. I'll tell you just how slow this car moved in the <laughs> snow and ice. I could literally outrun the car. <laughs> he could. And what do you what do you like had the pedal probably like halfway pressed down and the car's spinning and it's moving forward, but mm -hmm. I am literally faster on foot. I outran him around the hotel <laughs> to the parking space. Yeah, Luckily, yeah. Just, the what parking you, space was on a slight angle, and I could only make it around if i had momentum on the uphill part yeah. like <laughs> was... in my head i was like he's not getting out of here <laughs> <laughs> i got what out no way like what was your strategy there did it was it just depress the gas like what were you doing different than the guy stuck um oh it, it was about conserving momentum it was about knowing what was happening in the road in front of you and like you know, keeping your speed when you can and never come into a complete stop and i don't know just all the snow driving basics mm -hmm. You start skidding, turn into the direction of the skid and punch it. Or I'm gonna tell you something exciting: taking a ride with my sister. That's 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 exhilarating. <laughs> <laughs> Scared for your life? You've Scared seen flashes. For your life. How old is she now? She is 16. So she's a new driver. Well, technically, she's been driving about a year now. But god damn, she does not know where the brakes are for. <laughs> like, like here's the stop sign. Here's Taylor. Uh, -uh. right up to it. My daughter's 14. It won't be too long before I'm teaching her to drive. That's like so. You guys don't have kids yet. I'll just lay it out there that we that we know about yeah. that you know about. Yeah, it's like in your head, the aging doesn't happen at a constant, steady rate. You know, they hit 10, you're like, wow, that's a 10 year old. Then it just kind of pauses and pauses. Then you look up again and you're like, you know what? Not 10 anymore. <laughs> This kid's 12, and that's a whole other thing. Like, social relationships have added a lot of complexity to them. Then the uh, boyfriend starts showing up. Uh, interesting. Don't scare him. Uh, <laughs> she's got a boyfriend right now. He's this nice guy, though. 
She's yeah. the first girlfriend he's ever had. But he's, I don't know why he's handsome. But anyway, I'm not talking about my daughter's boyfriend. Nor am I a pedo. Back on topic. <laughs> 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 I just wanted to say, like, it, I, I, before I met him, I had heard that she was the first girlfriend he had. And I was like, oh, you know, prepare for underweight violin player. And then I met him. And he was actually like a pretty cool dude, and he rocks the guitar. And it's like, first girlfriend? What do you know? But hmm. he ain't got no game, huh? <laughs> Does not know how to use all. Oh the things God, dude, Wiggs is gonna start insulting Hope's boyfriend for I'm just no saying, reason. Like, guitar, that guitar is a big piece of game now. If you could play dude, guitar, he's got. He, so I'm up here like working on uh, WoodyCraft.net. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but check it out. No, what is that, Woody? <laughs> it's the one of the best mind servers on planet oh. Earth, and we'll settle for nothing less. Um, which actually is a freaking philosophy I'm driving towards. But um, I'm up here working it, and Hope comes. I'm I'm hearing him rock the electric guitar downstairs, like you know, and Hope comes up here and <laughs> I'm trying to. It's probably she was swooning. She was like, did you hear that? That is the coolest thing. Like, he, he literally played it. She thought it was cool when he grabbed her guitar and just tuned it. He's, like, you know, working it out, and he hands it back to her because we play a little bit. and um, But not like him. He's, like, a, he's good. And uh, I hear him down there just, like, shredding, you know, like, sweet yeah, child But when you sit up there envious, building him a little mud castle. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. <laughs> this guy's down there rocking the guitar and hopes, like, falling in love. And I'm up here building a mud castle in Minecraft. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like hold on, honey, I got to destroy this big dick somebody yeah. made in creative mode on my <laughs> Minecraft <Yeah>. server. <laughs> With a spout of finish coming out the end but uh, and, and it's funny like so we don't delete every penis we see in this thing that just seems a little <laughs> harsh but i'm like wow that thing's really vascular oh, so you're so your like, micro, that your needs micro, to go your minecraft server is essentially a call of duty gun <laughs> just dicks yeah. everywhere yeah yeah <laughs> like the emblems and and painkiller already references exist constantly you should With have the lefty have ones a there's a section. kind of theme you should have, have a section swastikas field of dicks yeah, yeah, we should just have a red light district. Like, you know, <laughs> if, you're, if you're gonna make a concentration camp, put it over here with the penises, and don't bother all the the respectable people on this server. But um, uh, this is the creative the server. Dick, you have to do it in this area. <laughs> um, yeah. So anyway, uh, I uh, the, the the kids seemed pretty cool to me. I did do this though, so. I knew he was coming over, but I was going boxing. This is Monday this happened. And uh, as I came back from boxing, normally I have all my gear like in the gym bag, but I'm like preparing like at the end of the at the end of the session, I'm all showered up and stuff. I'm putting away my boxing gloves and it's like, you know what? I should do what I was talking about. And I instead of putting the gloves in my gym bag, I hung them from the strap so they showed on the outside of my bag and I came home like with my boxing gloves like exposed. Like, "Hey, what's up, man? Just got back from fighting." As I met her boyfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's the whole thing. It's my little You're, version of the shotgun yeah. thing. Classy. So, classy, right? But uh, yeah, anyway, he seems like a nice guy. Is that a little guitar over there? Can you fight with that? No? Okay. <laughs> a couple of guitars over there. Yeah, but I don't know. You ever seen Jeff Jarrett? <laughs> <laughs> yes, no? I have seen Jeff Jarrett. Double J. What is this, Jeff Jarrett? He's a wrestler. His big thing was he had a, a guitar that he would... Uh, was it, he the honky-tonk guy? No. He, he, Jeff Jarrett was a little bit more successful than honky-tonk, man. But his, his thing yeah. was hitting people with guitars, like, over the head. Well, he used to be, like, a like a legitimate wrestler. Then it, in the Attitude Era, he got, like, really... That became his thing. He started hitting people with the guitar, and that's, like, basically all he did. He ceased being a wrestler, and he was just a gim walking gimmick where he hit people with guitars. I wonder <laughs> if you have to... Like, the guitars feel pretty fragile when you hold them. But when I watch musicians try to crush him on stage, they actually hold up okay oftentimes. I wonder if he had to modify his guitars to get the effect he wanted. Yeah, probably. They got to be props, right? I mean, like all the, the tables they break, you know, they're not the... If you look at a, a wooden folding table, it's got the, the steel rim on the inside, the reinforcing rim. But somehow the tables that, you know, they break at wrestling shows don't have that. I didn't notice that. Mm -hmm. Some of them do. Like the hardcore guys, they'll just go to a hardware store and buy 
you know, the, the little indie shows, they'll just go buy legitimate tables and they'll just kind of pre-break them a little bit and then just smash people through. But the, the professional guys, um, a lot of them don't have the... See, a, I, I think of them as being like card tables. You know, the little flexible legs fold down card tables. Mm -hmm. Those things break easy, right? Like, couldn't I break that if I dropped an elbow on it? Maybe not. These are big know. men. Yeah, these are big, big guys. I mean, the falls are real. <laughs> Those hurt. Yes. For everybody that's like, oh, wrestling's fake. It's like, well, yeah, it's fake, but, you know. Yeah. Ballet's fake. They're doing that. No. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> All right. Kyle, you with us? Yes. What do you want to talk about? I don't know. I don't really? know. You don't know, huh? Oh, can I ask about the uh, the PKA? What was it called on the PKA subreddit? Not PKA Let's Plays or like PKA Plays. Whose idea was that? Was that like a a subreddit thing? I, I think the... I have no idea whose idea yeah, that was. This is not. I haven't even known about this subreddit. What does it do? <laughs> PKA plays? No, 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 no. I'm talking about on the PKA subreddit. There was a thread, a post about like games that people would want to see, like all of us play. I think. Oh yes, I. Think I forget that... what the post was called. Leave a comment if you made it this far, which I know is like one of you. <laughs> <laughs> and um this is a lot of people have been requesting that we play a game together and, and they've been saying like well i'd love this like border woody loves border arma three right? i'm a big fan of borderlands what'd you say wings arma three okay arma three we can um, be the rage squad killers and we can go and destroy other people's bases <laughs> <laughs> i don't i haven't played that before, we'd be the so base squad killers i might do poorly oh let's see what you did there um but or we could play Borderlands or whatever. But I hearken back to I think it was episode one thirteen. I just read that recently where we played zombies. Um, I don't know if Lefty was on that show. I was. Or, I remember. Or were you on it? Black Ops Two Zombies, right? With, yeah. Uh, Merka Durka. Right. Yeah, I knew Merk was on it. Anyway, so uh, what happened was Black Ops Two had just dropped, and we were like PKA tonight. Like, does anyone even want to watch this? Because Black Ops Two is three days old. <laughs> Maybe we should, you know, find some way to incorporate the incitement around that into PKA. And we played Zombies Transit, which I hate. I hate Strong, but I don't like it. And uh, um, so we played, we did a PKA where, like, everybody played Zombies together. And it was not regarded as a good show. And now they want us to kind of do a similar thing with Borderlands and such. And I'm afraid it won't be what they want out of PKA. Can I make a suggestion? Can we just so, do both? I think what we need here is a game that... All right, so I, we need a game that isn't super dependent on them focusing on it constantly. What if we played a turn-based strategy game? I was thinking that, actually. Even mm. if it wasn't very strategy-ish, but what if we played, like, online Parcheesi? Or I wanted to... Oh. Uh, <laughs> I want, poker would be really cool. I was wanting to play um, Civilization V. Oh, I have you? that. Oh, oh, I see where you're going. All right, how about we play StarCraft, Kyle? How about that? StarCraft requires your full attention. Look, yeah, I don't look, my full attention to be too. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't need. <laughs> I don't want to play any games where you're going to be showing off your Uber Micro. I just, I just thought it'd be fun if we had like something right. going on in the background that was mild. Getting older, so. Kyle. I, I was 22 when I played StarCraft. I'm, I'm pushing 30 now. I'll break out the power glove and bust all your asses. <laughs> no, you won't. <laughs> Our glove sucked ass. <laughs> <laughs> what was that show, Kyle? What... Be scared. You Did know, you just make a reference that to that? What was that wizard, show? You bo in that Rad Racer scene, that's the, that's the greatest feat of gaming history right there. Nobody can do that in Rad Racer with that stupid-ass controller. Okay. I don't even know what we're talking about. you never seen The Wizard? No. I don't remember it. That was basically like the Fred Nintendo Savage, Shill movie, Super wasn't Mario it? Brothers 3. Yeah, it was like the. It was basically. It was a movie. It was produced on some yeah, level by Nintendo. It was Nintendo. a movie made by Nintendo, and they yeah. showed all their Nintendo you know, games. You know what sucks about this? There'll be someone who knows this, and they're going to be like, this is how you can tell Woody's not a gamer. Because he doesn't <laughs> understand some Fred Savage movie from the 40s. Don't you something. talk about Fred Savage like that. <laughs> California! <laughs> yeah, like, I, I think. Um, so I was beating Super Mario Brothers at age five, Woody. Come on. At, at the play, I, I had a Super Commodore Mario 64, motherfucker. At the PlayStation 4 reveal, they were showing Final Fantasy, 
which who here has played Final Fantasy? I know Wings has. Lefty, have you played Final Fantasy? Uh, for like a, a couple minutes, I played it once. But Kyle, have gonna... you played Final Fantasy? Never, never. I don't think it's a good game. Look at these people lost in the gaming world. So wait, <laughs> I haven't played Final Fantasy either. I don't know. Just, you like should be watching my Final Fantasy Let's Play. Final while Fantasy Let's Play and Wings of Redemption. While you're playing Woody's uh, Minecraft server, you can have it on your other monitor. That, that's right. That's right. But, As a matter of fact, you don't even have to really watch Wings' Let's Play. Just... Go to the first video, hit play on the playlist, and do whatever you want. You can go to yep. school or something. Just listen. No, no, you don't have to do that. You can listen to it. I have wonderful commentary. I don't talk about the game half the time anyway. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, you could listen to it and enjoy it, or if you wanted, you could just play all his videos. Is it Set your browser to the Wings of Redemption homepage. They're 50 minutes long each. And, and go to his uploaded videos, that playlist, hit play, and live your day out. Mm -hmm. Just play Wings' videos all the time. Yeah, <laughs> You but, see, the uh, way I read it on the subreddit was they wanted us to play a game and like, have it uploaded separate from PKA. I yeah, didn't know how, they were thinking how about like, PKA play night? Like we just do PKA that week plus the play night, It'd be two different videos. I don't know. What is a busy guy though? So well, I'm, sure I'm, I'm a little the scared ice. of the busy guy. I need to get my schedule back. I don't on have cruise game. control mm -hmm. instead of just working every waking minute. But, you know what we could play? Just throwing it out there, Minecraft. <laughs> 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 Build a house together. <laughs> Why don't you guys try to get in the heist? Da, 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 da. I'm just thinking of the odd couple, except to be the odd <laughs> four dudes. Yeah, you that's, know you're totally Felix in this situation. You're that. You're the one. I, I'm gonna put it out here. I know three of us have Borderlands 2 for PC. I've got it. Yeah, I'm sure I'm on your list, right? Mm-hmm. Who oh, does it? I'm oh, not Kyle. sure. I, I, I don't think I do. I've never played Borderlands. There are a ton of four-player games. Payday 2. You can buy Payday 2, the career criminal package, and we can all rob banks and stuff together. Halo. Halo takes a lot of attention. So does Borderlands. I think the turn-based strategy thing is the way to go. I do, too. I want to play Civilization. You and your, you, you, I don't want to see you showing off your Uber Aztec Rush method. I don't, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about Civilization Five, like the newest Kyle's one. Yeah, you can't stack. You can't stack armies. You can't stack attacking. Uh, like, come on, Kyle. Seriously, Starcraft units. Six, pull me. I will destroy units. you. Dude, Kyle I, has civilization strategies like people play chess. He's a he's civilization got... grandmaster. <laughs> this is all he wants to play. Kyle honed his skills on when the game only had a demo. King of the He's hill. like, you have 19 oh, moves to get to space. And, <laughs> and that's, that's how he learned to play Civ, as a cheap demo space mm -hmm. raider. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. So you, it's a turn-based strategy game, and each turn equals, like, I don't know, 10 years or something, or 100 years. And... It changes throughout the game. Like, towards yeah. the, in, when you hit the end, it's one year, but at the start, it's like 1,000 or something. I don't know. Mm. And the demo, when it was on Xbox uh, Marketplace or whatever, it was free, but it was, um, they only gave you like 25 or maybe 35 turns, and, you know, we like honed our skills to like maximize where you got to in like 25 turns. So like, you know, I, if you could get the airplanes, you were a badass. And so turns. What, what, I'm, was... what I'm hearing, Kyle, is you have a weakness in, in your game, because if I can get you past 25 turns, you don't know what to do. No, <laughs> no. by the time you get there... He's bombing you with like yeah. He's got he's got he's got tech. He's got mad strats. Mad strats. Yeah, he's got mad mad strats. I'm sure. I ain't trying to down you, Kyle. This is, yeah, I know. This is this is. I, I'm imagining a, a whole like syndicate scenario about right. to, about to play out. No, no, no. I, I, I was thinking the <laughs> one same thing about thing. this. One thing about this, Kyle. I, I grow smarter as I get older. <laughs> okay. So Wings is gonna so, be like, you know, you gotta play Civ Five in that archipelago. So That's the world you to face you. I would actually. <laughs> Play Civ Five on this monitor. Watch pros play it on that monitor. Elite strategies. Copy it <laughs> until the point where I can. I know I can beat you. <laughs> All right. I, so the syndicate reference was this: when we had him on the show last, Wings was literally telling him that he was better at zombies than Syndicate, and he had only played it once or twice. I still <laughs> only played it once or twice. Are you better than Syndicate? No. All right, because he changed his mind on that. <laughs> you you do get smarter as you do as you get older. Um, but I don't. I don't so Let me go ahead and add. This was like three years ago too. I want I want people to realize the time frame. Syndicate thing? Yeah, it was like two two and a half something like ballpark around right there. Was it? Uh, it was Black Ops One. It was, it was Black Ops One. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember. It was August two thousand ten. We, we did a dual com about it on Nuketown. Yeah, I remember. I know it was August two thousand ten. It was a while ago. That's great. 
I mean, it's still the thing, right? Racist lefty, unsub Woody. I'm just out. saying, like Wings people act like, like I had people act like that happened last week or some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> that's it... just that's just because you let it bother you because you're like fucking stop it with that, like let no, it go. That people people pretty much forgotten about it at this point. You got to embrace it. I, 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 when my Woodycraft server as it ever has a problem, I suggest they all unsub. Unsub Woody. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Time to restart. Wait, your Woody, your Woody, your Minecraft server. What's that address again? Where can I go? Woodycraft.net. I don't know. It, it, it's still <laughs> pissing me off when somebody comes in there and says, "Why are you streaming that shit?" Like they're trying. I know what they're trying to do. They're trying to be nice and they're trying to indicate that they watch me forever. I've got one too. That it's just like that. I when YouTube first opened streaming, the chat didn't keep up with real time. Like it would post. I'll say it posts a comment a second, but if your stream's popular, then that falls back. I'm playing Skyrim. And they're telling me to go behind the waterfall to get something, like a great sword or whatever. And the behind the waterfall comments are streaming in for the next hour and a half <laughs> after I've left. Like, I'm long gone. I'm off, like, fighting dragons or somewhere. I missed it. And, Wings, you know what this is like. Mm -hmm. Like, you use, this, you use this uh, example. You're like, imagine you spilled a glass of milk. And then, like, all day long... 700 people are like saying why would you spill a glass of milk why would you spill a glass of after a while you're like ah it's crazy and i think people who've never been in your shoes don't understand that because i always i didn't understand it until i was like a thousand people i did a minecraft video recently and i didn't Fuck shift that click. waterfall <laughs> i didn't shift click to load my um inventory and i've been told a thousand times since then that i need to shift click and I knew it at the time of the video. I just didn't do it. I should have. I should have saved myself a couple milliseconds. Well, guess and what? Now you won't do it again, will you? No, never again. Oh, my God, never again. <laughs> I've been being told to shift click for ages. Like, not even, not even for ages. A day. And it feels like ages. I've been told a thousand times now that I need to shift click. And it's, ah! So, uh, um, uh, Syndicate 1v1. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Yeah, oh, I got derailed. We were heading towards one of those. With the, yeah, with anyway. The... Oh, so they told me about the waterfall. It went on for an hour and a half. I went absolutely bonkers, kind of. And now when they join my stream, when did Skyrim drop? Two years ago? Yeah. A year and a half ago? They still tell me behind the waterfall. Yeah. And they mean the same thing you do, that they've been watching for a long time and they're sort of you know dedicated subs. It still pisses you off every time you see it. I, I Actually, that one doesn't make me mad. I don't mind. It's like I, I see it and I recognize exactly for what it is. Like, oh, a long-term sub. Like, I know this. My problem is somebody will do that bullshit while I'm already frustrated. Yeah, you, you know, your problem is, Wing, sometimes you got a lot of people that, you know, ne'er-do-wells that wish to do you a little bit of harm. They just want to poke you. Uh-oh, Telegram. You, Breaking news. What, it runs his ass into you? Yeah, now the back wheel feels like it's shaking. And stuff like that. That's not good. I know. Back wheel don't have hubs on your car. Huh? Your back your 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 back wheel's solid. Well, something's shaking back there. I know the alignment's off of it because it's going that way. Is it on the old. is I it on a truck or are you driving it still? Huh? Is it on the back of a truck no, or I'm driving it? Or... Imagine if this I... happened with anything else ever. <laughs> you know, it's the weekend too. I'd park it for the weekend. I'd take it to Palmetto Chevrolet Monday morning. That's right, folks. Palmetto Chevrolet. <laughs> well, the car is still under warranty, and uh, I, you want to go to a dealership for like a um, like a like an insurance claim, because the dealership's going to give you the high dollar insurance claim. You want to go to a fine one like Palmetto Chevrolet. <laughs> take it to Palmetto Chevrolet. They've got all your insurance fraud needs. <laughs> it is insurance fraud, Lefty. It's just you. They they replace it with the parts that are actually on the car. You can go to a shade tree mechanic. He's going to lowball you. Mm -hmm. Palmetto Chevrolet is going to be lowballed. Palmetto <laughs> Chevrolet. You want you want the stuff on the car. You want the car fixed like it was before you got wrecked. I know. That's why I want to go to Palmetto Chevrolet. Why, why, are you, why are you making fun of Palmetto Chevrolet? Less. They're good people. I just, <laughs> they are good people down at Palmetto Chevrolet. <laughs> is there something funny about that? Yes. Ah. The fact that I have to explain to you is kind of painful. It's it's like shamelessly fucking. You know who would always go to Minecraft? Chevrolet? Chevrolet. <laughs> it's kind of like how Woody. Talks <laughs> You're right. Yeah. There's only one Chevrolet dealership in town. Are you, are you talking Chevrolet? about Woodycraft.net like, Woody or Netflix.com slash Woody or the Scuff Coupon code Woody? <laughs> all those, all that shit is great. 
It's, it's just funny. Just like, you know, Woody's Minecraft server. Mm -hmm. Woody has... Anybody, how many people have pointed out that you can get a free month without your code? <laughs> is that true? That That's is not true. true at all. What are you talking about, Wayne? <laughs> Stop spewing <laughs> lies. Stop spewing lies on this show. <laughs> <laughs> The important thing to know is that you can get a free month with my code. That's the key takeaway. The important thing to know is you support Woody when you put his code in. Netflix.com slash Woody. Get a free month. That's Even if you, you already have it, just get your free month. Take care of Woody. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, and, and get Minecraft and, and Woodycraft. He needs that new free house, house money. Okay, <laughs> put Woody's code Woody in and get the second free month. What's that? With all the money you saved, you can buy Minecraft and log on to his Minecraft server. Yep. Bam. Yeah, that's eight bucks twice. That's that's, I know, that's, that's sixteen bucks. That's, 16 that's 16 Minecraft bucks. money. That's Minecraft almost. Minecraft money. Buy a right. sword. Buy a sword. Then log on to Woody server. Yeah. The, I, I got a question about your free month, Woody. I, I am a Netflix uh, or a subscriber, but so I can't access, I can't take advantage of it. But like, does your free month guarantee the mo rentals and the movies, or is it just like the streaming? I like, guess if you. I don't even know. Try it and see. <laughs> Everybody should try Netflix.com slash Woody. Report try back it. to me. Let, let us know in the comments. Make sure that everybody let us know in the comments. I bet if you sign up for both, you get both. Like the, that's my prediction. Mm -hmm. But I'm not positive. Like I don't want to rip. I don't know. Net, I'm, I'm going to go, I'm gonna go this far. Netflix is, is one of the purchases that I will not be doing without in my life. Netflix.com <laughs> slash Woody endorsed by Jordy Jordan. <laughs> I would give up my truck before I gave up Netflix. I'm just gonna go on a limb on that. I gave up TV when I discovered Netflix. Oh, I was like, I'm, yeah, I'm I've, gonna... I've done giving up TV. We got the only reason cable's in the house because Mama wants it. Yeah. yeah. Netflix is great. You guys don't have over the air TV down there? No. Like, Shit, you know, just this we three, barely five, have seven, internet nine. down here. Right. I think we have it, but I haven't bothered with it. Because mm. I have Netflix, like I think it exists. Like I could put up. I, went, I got back into Lost recently. Oh my lord! Oh, the, Lost I, is a tease. I stopped watching Lost in the beginning of season two because Woody said it had a horrible ending. But like I couldn't find anything else worth watching, so I started watching Lost again. Sure. Here's my thing about Lost, and I swear there's zero spoilers in this for those interested. And by the way, if you're interested in Lost, you can get it on Netflix.com/slash/Woody. Free month. Plug. <laughs> they don't have the seventh season though. No, they do. I watched the end of it. I think on. There's only six seasons on the, on the one I'm looking I at. I think it goes six seasons. Am I crazy? There's seven seasons. Mm -hmm. Regardless. Regardless. Yeah. Don't... <laughs> Let's not talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> um. Uh. It, for the first couple years of Lost, the first couple seasons. Every episode would completely draw me in. It was like linking me to another movie that I can't wait to see. Like, it, like the polar bears are here, and why is that? Walt has these special powers that explain everything. Hurley has events in his life, I'm not giving much away, that explain everything. Explain, 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 explain as to what this island is all about. And they start like throwing out potential solutions. And I'm waiting for this masterful writing plan to tie it all together in a way that makes it make sense and, and they don't garbage. yeah and they're just uh, like well, here's might... the ending and i'm like the ending was a whole nother thread entirely what about you've been not answering my questions for six or seven years now mm -hmm. and then you wrapped it up and you didn't I, I what was that thing with that specific that, that like black cloud i mean i'm where michelle smoke. rodriguez remember is. that is introduced and That's it's getting. Right. I can't. I can't stand her character or storyline. My, my only beef. Uh, I warmed up to her. You the, might too. The, the fat guy never loses weight. They never grow beards either. No, they never <laughs> grow beards. What? What is that? Okay, I'm. I'm. I'm pretty sure if I was stranded on a deserted island. But Hurley did lose I, weight from season one to season two. Not very much. Not as much as he should have been. He was my size in season one. In season two, he was your size. Yeah, but they were good hunters and trappers and stuff. Yeah, there. it was a magic island too. No, yeah. <laughs> that was that was Fat there. Island. Nobody else lost any weight either. It had yeah, a was, union craft really. table, craft services table. Ironically, Absolutely. it was kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what's this craft services table doing here with all this damn food? And... But you think he would lose weight a lot faster yeah, he, on an he, island? He would Regardless, it's faster. the biggest cock tease ever on television. Terrible show. Wow. Terrible show. Kyle, Kyle has a way of summing up TV shows, and I think that was brilliant. <laughs> Lost is the biggest cock tease in the history of television. <laughs> I, I, am I going to be let down for what the, the actual yes. timer on that yes. has this? Yes. Yes. Let me, no, let me it, say this, Wings. Wings. 
there's nothing that happens between the first episode and the last episode that even fucking matters. <laughs> you can literally watch the first episode be like, okay, there's a bunch of people stuck on a weird island. Then watch the last episode and be like, oh, so that's what it was. And you'd probably enjoy Lost more than... They than make you give a yes. shit about the timer, about Penny, who you don't know yet, about all these things, about a Is boat, the timer even important? No. No, Not nothing. Not wings. Everything that you're emotionally invested in right now is bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> they will just drop that thread and fire up another one. Do they just not give conclusions to it? Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yes. So, right, so, so, so here's how the like, episode. Oh, they're end. still pressing that button every hour and a half. An episode will end and and like a bomb's about to go off. The next episode begins with them quickly defusing the bomb, and there what now there's no problem. But that episode ends with the world is about to explode. <laughs> the next episode, we, we take care of that whole world exploding thing, but now there's a monster that wants our soul. And by the way, I was wondering really, where the, where the so fuck hold, the invisible monster go? Dude, you're really, really invested in the invisible monster. You're really, really invested in what this island is all about. You're really, really invested in like how they got there and why they got there and what the numbers mean and all that stuff. Yet, 75% of the shows are going to be about some fucking bullshit backstory that happened before they arrived at the island. And I'm yeah, like, I don't sucks. care that this girl recently <laughs> broke up with her boyfriend before this plane trip. It's not relevant, and I'm not interested. Lost, if you guys are interested in watching a seriously, seriously shitty TV show, Netflix.com slash Woody. <laughs> I just don't up. understand it. Like, what got me into Lost was the invisible monster. They're on the island. All right, that's a pretty cool setting. And all of a sudden, trees are cracking and getting pulled back. And they're getting chased in the woods by this invisible monster. Yeah, and then 40 too. days later, they haven't seen the goddamn motherfucker since. Yeah, oh, and, and it, like, it looks like a dinosaur is on the island at the start of it. Remember? Like, trees yeah. are cracking. Uh, some guys seem to get pulled out of, like, a 100-foot-tall limb that he was hiding in and stuff like that. It later changes to a smoke monster that's only surface-based and can be stopped with a fence or something like that. And you're like, what? Where's the, where the fuck's the smoke monster at in the first 40 days? Uh, yeah, the, well, that's, the original that's vision that that I've been that I've read is that there isn't as much time passing as it seems there is. It tells time, me the fucking TV show forty six days have passed. That doesn't matter. No, no, what they tell you is full of shit. They yeah. What happens is <laughs> no, what I, they say is bullshit. Yeah, no, every show they seem to hire a new writing crew and they yeah. just start fresh. <laughs> you yeah. know? it and doesn't we, matter. By some accounts, so you never see that visible monster as tall as a tree again. No, you see it. It's no, just a big cloud it. of black and smoke. And you'll actually see it in detail, and it's a big black smoke monster, and it's still horseshit. Yeah. The whole <laughs> thing, the Dharma Initiative, all this, this this thing that looked like it was going to be this massive global conspiracy that must have something to do with either God or aliens or magic or fate or the end of the universe or something like that. It had to be one of those things, right? And then you get to the end, it's like, no, you couldn't even, you couldn't just pick one. You couldn't take one of those <laughs> words I just used, put them in a hat, draw it, and be like, all right, let's go there. Were the numbers that Hurley used to win the lottery that happened to be like, I don't know, the tail numbers on the plane or something, and they're on the hatch, and they're on the you know what you know, would have been a good thing, end? and then in the end, the numbers mean nothing. You know what ending I would have settled for? If at the end. You uh you zoomed out of like one of the dying character's eyes and then it, it or you zoomed into his pupil and then it zooms back out and it's some old man lying on the floor dying and he's reading those numbers because those are on the ceiling or something. Like just make it make it some old man's dying dream or something. Uh, I swear that. Can I take, can I take a shot at what the end of ending of loss is? Because I don't know it. Spoiler alert. Go ahead. I don't know it. I don't know it. I don't. Right. Give it a go. I'm in season two. Give it a go. What I've took. They all died on the plane crash, and the island is some kind of purgatory, and the people that die go to heaven. The people that are still alive are basically waiting to be judged. No comment. No comment. You know how Lost would have been better in the ending? I got it right, didn't back, I? I got it right, didn't and I? And they were on fucking Gilligan's Island. That would have been the <laughs> awesomest ending ever. Skipper. Yeah, no, they pull back. They're in the Sopranos uh, diner where the Sopranos end. I don't care about there, spoilers. All of them. This TV show is fucking stupid. A stupid show is stupid. There it is. Oh, I got it right. I just. 
If you want to watch a truly terrible, disappointing cock tease of a show... Can you listen to me in the show, comment section? Let me know if I'm right or wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, y'all leaving me flapping in the wind. You just keep watching Lost. My, my suggestion to you, Wings, is to stop watching Lost and start watching Hannah Montana, because that shit's better than Lost. Yeah, it is really, dude. <laughs> I've watched Hannah Montana. I used to have two little kids here. Go, go. <laughs> Go watch Asylum films, okay? You know, Atlantic Rim is out. Man, they had that shit right off the print. I like Asylum films. Pacific, Pacific Rim. Pacific Rim was out. The Atlantic Rim is on Netflix. You go on Netflix, <laughs> slash Woody .com, you can see By the Atlantic By the way, it looks, like, uh, it looks like Pacific Rim did so well internationally that they're probably going to get a sequel. So, mm. we won there. Asylum films make knockoff of big films. Well, the, se the sequel is going to be the North Pole. Asylum's going to make the South Pole. Yeah, basically. You know what was good that... I don't know if it's still in theaters. What's the one with um, Michael Sarah and the end? This is the end. The end. Yeah. Mm. Did we talk about that already? I think we might have. Uh, I watched it in theaters. I loved it. I loved it too, dude. That I. All right, forgive me for my gay moment here, but you know we all have them. <laughs> How funny was the big swinging cock in that movie? <laughs> Did you see it? Did no, you see I don't it? remember. What? No. The gigantic person at the end. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. The giant oh. demon cock. Yes, there's. Gary, <laughs> that was crazy. It's like knee long. It's like it's like a thigh, just swinging around. <laughs> and he's like doing all this damage, and you're like, what? That's an enormous cock, <laughs> you know. And it's just, and it's Why just, is there a gigantic? They just run away from me. <laughs> yeah, it was. Oh, that movie killed me. It was, yeah, that, that was, was a good movie. I, I love yeah. when like they walk in on the guy and like he's with the two girls and he's drinking the Capri Sun. <laughs> I don't remember that. It's Michael Sarah's character. He's got one chick like licking his ass and one. Oh one yes, yeah. Him. Oh, that killed me. Michael Sarah plays someone completely out of character. He's, does yeah. he smell like coke to you? <laughs> <laughs> he blows cocaine and, in the guy's face into the guy who played Fogle from Superbad's face and he's like I've never done this drug oh my god <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, Mike, yeah Michael awesome. Sarah's getting like licked in the bum and, and <laughs> pleasured from the front and he's in a bathroom and he's like oh you need the toilet go ahead like he wasn't stopping or anything he was just yeah, <laughs> yeah. Michael nice. Sarah I thought had a little balls to take that role but yeah that's great it was so over the top. You almost like forgive it. You're like, oh. Well, yeah. you saw like what, what's his name what was that? It was like the gay sex slave at the end. Remember the guy that um like comes out of. The, oh yes, uh, yes, 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 yes. Um, he was a, a, a handsome man or something. Yeah, right? yeah, Channing Tatum. Channing Tatum, yeah, yeah. Channing Tatum comes out of nowhere, like like all leathered up yeah. and with a mask on. <laughs> yeah, and he's walking around on all fours. And he's yeah, like, it's fucked he's up. He's on a leash and he has like a gimp suit on or something. Yeah. Yeah, that was that, a good movie. The end gets my endorsement. That was a really funny movie. But I will say it's not kid friendly. So. Uh uh, not at all. Yeah, not even a little bit. I love that they, when they like recreate. They did like the sequel oh, to Pineapple wow. Express. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they're pl really they're playing that paper plane. So I, yeah, I like again. paper. Get high like planes. <laughs> and they're all just like running around and throwing flour at each other. <laughs> uh, so what's Wings talking about? I was right. Oh, you looked up Lost? I looked up the ending of Lost, and, like, the reason I figured it was like that, because the others, they take the kids on the first night in season two. And I'm sitting there thinking, like, why would they take the kids on the first night? And then they, then the guy that uh, Michelle Rodriguez's character kills, she talks about, she has these conflicting issues with her and, and her, gun, her guns and her partners and shit like this, killing off people. And the guy says, you know, why did you take this one person? Well, he was a good guy. So those people, they went straight to heaven, whereas everybody else there has got conflicting issues they have to deal with to see what kind of person they actually are. Like I said, the series would have ended better if they were on Gilligan's Island. Oh, fucking beast, dude. I, this, this ranks right over me figuring Saul out before the end of the movie. And to, to be honest, though, I, I doubt that's the ending the original writers had in mind. It may look like it fits together, but I doubt, you know, it's a whole new team of writers wrote the end than wrote the beginning. Yeah, and, yeah I was going to say, I, I made a joke. But that you they... got to say my impression. I figured out who Jigsaw was before anything, because I, re I recognized that the guy in the hospital bed was the guy laying in the floor in the middle of the room. Yeah. Yeah, but I really liked the twist at the end of the last movie. What, Saul 8? 
I didn't see Sully. I stopped watching after you five. You haven't seen the last one? You really got to you got to watch the last one. They they wrap it up nicely at the end, really nicely. Is that the smoke like, monster? Yeah, that's the smoke monster. Six and Is seven. Name Cerebrus. When is he going to stop watching the show? Is that your plan now? I was going to say, is it, is it <laughs> I don't care about spoilers. I'll watch the show with spoilers. Is uh, it, is it like, in the show? You, guys... you know what I liked? When Kyle nailed Paranormal. Is that I get the Supernatural, that's what I'm talking about. Supernatural. He's like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's like, I, I never even recognized that it was a low-budget show. Like it, That's what it is. It, this is a show about two guys who fight demons and dragons and monsters and... Like travel and like and, and all these amazing things, yet through like seven seasons, you never see a monster. All yep. the angels and demons and even like the dragon look like regular people. Yeah, they'll just give them like glowing fingernails or something. It's the exact it same thing they did in Battlestar Galactica, the one that got remade um, mm-hmm. on Sci-Fi. The, all of a sudden, the silence looked like us. Well, it never bothered me at all. It really didn't. I thought the I thought Battlestar Galactica. Uh, when it was on TV, it was one of the best TV shows I'd ever seen. It was, but it's another fantastic. example of, of, of that, uh, you know, that low budget tactic of what we can't make dragons. Well, yeah, we can. People dragons. <laughs> People dragons. <laughs> uh, this uh, what this they, guy's they, got scaly hands. When he touches stuff, it gets hot, and he can fly. Though we'll never show it. The nice part <laughs> about what they did with Battlestar is, is it, it's it wasn't actually it was actually it was a, expensive to make it wasn't as low budget as you would think but if you look through all four seasons the battles the galactica actually takes like severe battle damage through the whole thing by the time they get to earth and it's back breaks that thing looks like it's been you know beaten to death yeah it was a really cool show i like you know who did that really well and kyle pointed out to me because he's an expert in this show trailer park boys that thing had continuity oh yeah trailer park boys continuity is something that you only get you can only get those results when you're working on a small production because if you were if on a TV show like Friends god knows where wardrobe and production and and where wires are getting crossed some superman doll that was in there on like episode, season 2 that thing could be anywhere it could it guess, could be non-existent i would guess tr- the set on friends gets completely dismantled between seasons and they start filming movies or other shows on that set you know, yeah. that studio not true with Trailer Park Boys. Things mm-hmm. change, but things change for a reason. Like like neighbors move in and out of the neighborhood, but Ricky will wear the same fucking t-shirt for an entire season. Oh, and if he so... rips it, if he rips a hole in it, then that shirt's just got a hole in it now, just like in real life. He ripped his it might have been his shirt, but I thought it was his pants. Next season Safety pinned him. <laughs> Next season the hole's still there. And yeah. It's like Damn, and it, yeah, they did a good job, and I, I liked he, it. The the guy always had a drink in his hand. That in the first Julian. episode, who is it? Is it Ricky? Julian, Julian. always has Julian. A drink in yeah, his hand. in the first episode, Julian gets out of jail. The guy pour him a drink, and Kyle's like, from now on, he will always have a drink with like one exception or something. He puts it down. Yeah, it's Kyle, very. What rare. was the exception? Do you know, Kyle? Because he puts it down to hug um, that blonde lady, um, and I think there might be. Um, one or two other minor times. It's like when something crazy is going on. Like it's usually in gunfights, he still holds it. Like it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty common for him to have a gunfight while maintaining his beverage. He's driving with one hand and he just still has. The yeah, and we're talking other. about like a mixed drink. Like a, it, it's like you know, it's like Crown a rum and Coke. Coke or something. Yeah, it's like a rum wow. and Coke in a glass with ice driving down the road in a car that's driver door doesn't open and doesn't even have a passenger door. <laughs> A car that he gave to Ricky, and Ricky lives in from season one till the end of season seven. <laughs> or season six, I think. Trailer and... Park Boys gets my endorsement, too. Yeah, man. Well, wait, you show. know where I watch Trailer Park Boys? My house? That's true, actually, but that's not what I was going to say. Where? On Netflix. Netflix. Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> they got the movies on there, though. All three of them. Yeah, the two of them. Yeah, we, we did like a, some marathon TV watching when I went to visit Kyle, and uh, I think the first two or three seasons, we watched Trailer Park Boys. I watched oh, three I, seasons I know of I Trailer said Park three. Boys I've last night. The, uh, mm-hmm. I've actually seen the movie they made to make money to make the seasons. Interesting. Really? I don't think I've seen that. It's in black and white. They couldn't afford to put it in color. Uh, that can't even be true. It can't yeah. be. 
Uh, clerks did the same thing. Like, that's not why clerks out of money. He he, that's why clerks was black and white. I Things are. Disagree. It's not like there's cheaper black and white cameras right now. I mean, they just buy like a DSLR if they're on a budget. They yep. no no. Clerks came out what ninety. But I'm I'm thinking of Trailer Park Boys specifically. Like, oh, but Trailer Park Boys came out early nineties too. Oh. Well, then I might be wrong. I don't. I don't think know. they did. I, my my favorite part about Trailer Park Boys is when you see the sound guys like get shot and uh, and stuff <laughs> like that. Like, like when they're stealing a lawnmower and they try to get the sound guy to be like, "Come on, help us get in the trailer." You know, shit like, like grab that. the lawnmower, put it in. Yeah. I, I don't know why TV shows don't break the fourth wall a little more because I really enjoy it. It's always a special moment. Mockumentaries are great. Like like this show is great because you know they're admitting the whole time it's like the office the office is the same way and you saw mm -hmm. how brilliant that was especially i don't know if you watched the last season of the office mm -mm. but they I don't i want to but i had oh you did yeah. that just silence you yeah okay. <laughs> That's ridiculous. all right it, 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 you need to see the last season you'll like it a lot i bet i will i liked every other season have so. we decided what game we were going to play <sighs> Civilization. Everybody get everybody get payday two the career criminal edition will rob some banks. We can play civilization on PC. I'm going to buy it anyway. How much is payday two? What the career criminal edition I think is forty nine, mm. and you get access to the beta until it's released. Otherwise, it's twenty nine. Well, we can play Grand Theft Auto five. I don't want to Doesn't buy. Doesn't that require more concentration? I don't know. I, I usually just run around the city and burn people. I just. It... The, I haven't played Grand Theft Auto since the PS2 when I played it a lot. And um, pretty much all I did was have sex with hookers and then <laughs> beat them with a baseball bat and take my money back. Yeah. That's yes. what everybody did. What do you play it's just like real life. life. What he played like the casino gangsters. <laughs> I just, yeah. I, I would, I, what did they, it got your health back or something, right? Like your, Yeah, you got health back. Yeah. It, it, <laughs> that's... It it was a novelty to me. Like uh, so, everyone was talking about how terrible the game was, not in playstyle, but like for society. And they were all like, "Oh my god, there's hookers, there's murder, there's rape, there's this, there's that." And I'm like, "This is all my favorite shit. Let's try this out." And uh, <laughs> so I gave it a go, <laughs> and sure enough, it was all true. Mm -hmm. uh, I can't stand people that like video games cause violence. I'm, I'm sure Napoleon was playing video games when he invaded Russia. <laughs> Yeah, violence is new to the last 30 years. Camps was playing video games. Right. Hitler was an avid gamer. I think he played Call of Duty. Probably World at War. I have to go. <laughs> I, bet he, I bet he didn't like the ending of it. <laughs> he's playing. He's like, he's like, wait a minute. I don't like the way this is going. I don't like where this story is headed. Uh, why are the Russians coming to Berlin? I played... Um, who played COD 2? Did everyone play that? You did? I didn't, no. I played it a little bit. Yeah, I played it a little bit too. I beat the campaign. I think it might have been veteran. I think Hutch started playing some and I uh, picked it up and That's played exactly it. what it was. It, so it was COD 4 time. I didn't I haven't been I've been playing COD since COD 4. And you know, you play it for nine months or something, you stick your it, it happens to me every year. Come summertime, it's like, what other games have I missed? You know, I've been head, I've been deep in COD. What else is out there? And you know, Minecraft's a good choice. If only there was a good place to play. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but yeah, come summertime, I, I, it's like, oh, look, COD's not the only game in existence. What else is out there? And I checked out COD 2 for a change of pace, and that's when I played it. I can still say the funnest time I had on COD was when I first met Woody and Modern Warfare 2 was banging. Yeah. That's the last time I've had fun on Call of Duty. You played a ton of Modern Warfare 2. You were oh. like 10th prestige on two consoles by December. Mm-hmm. Like, I played, I played more than my share of Modern Warfare 2. Yep. I, I had, I had band-aids around my fingers to cover over blisters to keep holding the <laughs> controller. People got... I made a video not too long ago saying that Black Ops 2 was the best COD so far, and everyone got crazy. Like, like you know, it was completely wrong and illogical and stuff. But let's go through this mental exercise. Yeah, Model for two made me upset. Imagine that the CODs were released in reverse order, right? So, like, instead of COD 2, Black Ops 2 came out. And then following it was Modern Warfare 3. And then following it was Black Ops 1. And then, where are we here? Modern Warfare 2. Mm -hmm. And then World at War, COD 4, etc. 
like if we were just now getting like COD 2 or COD 4, people would be like, this thing got worse all the time. COD 4 hit detection is no joy. People forget, but it's not so hot. And, you know, the graphics got worse and the killstreaks got kind of dull by comparison. And the variety of class setups that you could have are so limited in COD 4 compared to now. You know, you had to run stopping power. You had to run bandolier in my case. You know, you had to run dead silence. And that, that was it. It was like pick among a couple of guns. Those are the perks. You really, Not a ton of variation. It, if the games came out in reverse order, COD would be dead. But they really do make it slightly better every year to keep you coming back, even if it's largely similar. I just wish they would stop shitting on campers. <laughs> they do. Yeah, they do. They do shit on like every year. It make it gets it harder and harder to camp. The maps get it, smaller. You get more flanking routes. You get. Do, the, the, I mean, the I noob tubes anything. were designed to crush campers. Like that was the point of a noob tube, right? You know, I think that's why they wanted it in the game. You, you you see a camper, you can tube him and take him out. But it turned out that noob tubes were effective against a lot more than just campers. <laughs> you in, primary weapon. Yeah, use a noob tube primary, and you're in good shape. But uh, if Modern Warfare 2, no, no, never mind. There's too much pressure with that game. Outside the box. It, I, I once tried to do this campaign where you lose your first perk if you run a noob tube, which is what they did in COD 4. In COD 4, you lose your first perk if you run a noob tube. And uh, that would have meant no one more army or no scavenger. And it would have made the game a lot better. But they didn't do it. I, they still needed a nerf from at that point because they'd have been assholes running around just shooting the two tubes, dying, and being happy with the two or three kills they got. But I mean, if you take away one man army and scavenger, then it, could, it couldn't be like a. It couldn't be like a. Like oh my god, what was the name of that map? Terminal. Terminal. Ah, cool. Terminal on Modern Warfare Two. Yep. Yep, you're right. You're right. You, you, I, stand by the metal detectors and shoot towards C Dom. Is that yeah, what you're thinking? White Boy was notorious for noob tubing terminal gameplay. Was he? Oh, yeah. I remember seeing a lot of it. Oh. Hmm. When I think about noob tubes, I think about White Boy first. Because he, uh, he had the world's fastest noob with the noob tubes on Wasteland. He had the, uh, he had the 200 plus game on Terminal. When I think about noob tubes, I think about Wings of Redemption. You were the <laughs> guy that exposed the class, like that game breaking class. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not my finest moment. My fi finest moment in Modern Warfare 2 was actually the C4 Riot Shield class. I was what proud you, of that one. What I know that video. It was on High Rise, right? Well, I had a few of them, but I, did, I got a nuke with it without the kill streaks. On High Rise? Yeah. Yeah. Um, what's your favorite video on your channel, everybody but Kyle, who has no videos yet? I know my favorite video. What is it? Um... Who needs rockets? It's a uh, Battlefield Bad Company two montage. Oh, yeah, I thought it was going to be your emergency airdrop tips for ranking up. Oh, I hated that video. I didn't even know why that video did well. It's just titling. That video is by no means the best my channel had to offer. It probably not in terms of production quality, but it was eye opening for me in terms of ranking up. Like it was a legit tip. I was like, I, and I start I started thinking about it. for people who don't know. He would give away his care packages to rank up. So, for example, giving away a Predator missile in Modern Warfare 2 was worth 250 XP. Mm -hmm. Killing a guy with a Predator missile was worth 50. Mm -hmm. And so you have to ask yourself, like, even if you get a double kill with a Predator, which happens, you know, maybe half the time, that's 100. There's no way you're getting five kills with that Predator. Give that stuff away. You'll rank up quicker. Yeah, and, I gave a list of what actually is worth keeping yeah. because you'll get the kills to actually match it. Right. EMP was worth, like, 750, I think. And yeah. forgive my crappy math. How many kills is that? You get 50 for a kill? Yeah, on Domination, that's, that's, that's like 15 kills or something. Yeah, I had 15 in my head. Yeah, yeah, that's, you're right. Or is it whatever it is? I don't know. Forgive me. I'm tired and stupid. <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. So this is probably getting a little slow. But he sat there and it was like, EMP, give that stuff away every single time. First, you get the advantage of it being called. So you get, you're losing nothing. It's not like a predator where you balance. And second, you're not going to get 15 kills with it. You know, give it away, get the XP. And um, I've never met a guy who was mad at me for giving him a care package. You know, let him have it. I've never and, seen a guy that wouldn't take an EMP. Yeah, yeah. But, like, I think a Harrier might have been the other way. Like, ah, oh, you'll do slightly better if you call it yourself. So drop your package, give away, like, almost all of it, sometimes all of it. And it was a good video. Lefty, what's your favorite video on your channel? Uh, 
I've been thinking about this and I can't come up with one. I favorite like the the video I love doing the most or loved doing the most. I can tell you my favorite. Is that the qualifier? <laughs> What's that? I liked our Day Z stuff where we were doing the sniper yeah. montages. Yeah, yeah. I loved doing the Day Z stuff. The snipe. That's exactly right. That was, um, that was awesome. Especially when we were like splicing clips from each other. Uh, just like I was showing you. Yeah, we were working like a stuff. sniper team. People yeah. love that aspect. Mm -hmm. yeah, the one thing cool. I wish my channel would get past, and I'll answer the favorite video thing too. I'm called a COD channel, and I do a lot of COD on my channel. I get that, and I can see how it happened. In my head, though, I'm not just COD. Like it, I've been posting Borderlands, Warcraft, Battlefield 3, Battlefield 4, lately Minecraft. But I posted Minecraft a year ago, too, from the Xbox. I posted, you know, of course, a lot of Call of Duty, um, Borderlands 1. I, I mean, like I've been playing lots of games on my channel forever. A lot of COD, but a lot of games. And every time I post something that's not COD... It's like I'm unwelcome there. Like, oh my god, we don't want Woody to join I've worked this. hard to get my channel away from COD. Like, I'm doing mainly vlogs and Final Fantasy VII right now. <laughs> um, I want to do Minecraft, but I just haven't got the point to where I want. I haven't got the motivation to figure out how to get on your server. <laughs> <laughs> I could show you. I, and sometimes I, there are people who might be interested in it who know zero about Minecraft. So I was gonna give them like a. You like, know, I personally, I don't know how to switch servers in Minecraft. That's how little experience I have with it. And I almost want to make a video for you guys, but I'm afraid that there'll be other people who say this is too basic. I don't want you to make that video. And, you should make uh, that video and link it. Even if it gets a little view, somebody will enjoy it. That's a video that grows over time. I, my, So I hated Minecraft before I played it. Right, I wasn't really vocal about it, but just looking at it, I was like, this is terrible. This is a step backwards for gaming, et cetera, et cetera. And then the first time I ever played it, Onslaught was like, you know, held my hand. He's like, here's how you play Minecraft. You, know, you punch some trees, get some wood, make a crafting table, just like the very beginning of how to get going. And it was like, I get this. I, I can see why people enjoy it. Like, it, like it was eye-opening for me. And then I started playing with subscribers, and they were teaching me even more, and you know, subscribers would know how to do stuff that, like, you know, things that you could make that I didn't know existed, and it was fun. And uh, if somebody hadn't held my hand to help me get started in Minecraft, I don't think I would have ever gotten started in Minecraft. And I almost want to do that for my subs. But then there's Minecraft pros out there who are going to really not approve of well, a basics video. I'm going to go this far. Not every video can please everybody. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. I just Maybe I'll make that video and show people how to get started right. so. like my final fantasy i get upset all the time with my final fantasy videos but at the same time those videos are for me if people enjoy them they're there they're they're for me yeah there's a, you know being a pro youtuber is a mix of that right like if you don't like your own videos then you're probably making a mistake I mean, right? the only vid the video i'm proud of every day is my final fantasy one okay if you want to see me in the best form go to those <laughs> There's a balance between just doing whatever you want, like, uh, you know, making, I don't I'm trying to pick a old game that doesn't call anyone out, like with Super Mario Brothers, right? Like, if that's the thing you really love and you play it, but people don't want to watch you play it, that's an issue. But if you play COD and you hate to play it, then that can show through too. And there's some sort of balance between finding a happy spot and making stuff people want. I think mm -hmm. I, I think I did my FF Let's Play at the proper time, because... Final Fantasy has this like little second coming back where the PC version just dropped and they fixed some bugs and glitches with the game. Maybe so you're it's, right. It's at the highest popularity it's going to get and the time was now. I have, I have two answers to my own question as far as favorite video goes. Um, one is the Colin video. I did one like a year ago maybe where he like we fly a helicopter and there's some slow-mo in there. And I enjoyed doing the videography in it, and I enjoyed working with Colin on it, and like the whole thing was just a really positive experience, and people liked it, and that's that's a pretty special thing, like when all that happens together, and it's and you know, the video was really successful and stuff. So that was one of my favorites. I think it's like Colin is inspirational or something like that. And then another one of my favorites. This is an old one where I talked about my suicide attempt for the first time, because that was I think that video has helped a lot of people who went through tough times and I'm proud of that. Like, um, I don't know that knowing that other people got like value from my channel makes me feel good about me. So 
There it is. New topic. Somebody. Do we need new topics? I think that one's done. We're, oh, well, I'll say we're about three hours in, and we're just kind of dragging at this point. I I think we're awesome. <laughs> we're also more than three hours in, if my math is correct. Uh, yeah, I think we're threatening four. Do you think we start at roughly 8.30? Yeah, somewhere around there. Yeah, so Wings, right, what time like, is right it? There. We're 12, wrapping 12. up. Is it 5 a.m.? <laughs> <laughs> well, you see, now I got I got to do a Final Fantasy Let's Play, and then I'm going to I'm prob- I'm, I'm probably going to attempt the microwave video tonight since oh, I don't. The, the That's not PK's to, fault. Road to successful microwaving. Yes. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do for real? Yeah. <laughs> I, I've, I've been picturing in my head. I'm gonna try to do. I wish I had my second camera. <laughs> you still haven't got that back. I was currently on vacation. I was currently on vacation. You know what? You know what that bitch tried to talk to me about today? I'm curious. She had to go to Virginia, and she asked me if she could borrow my truck. I would. I. Your girlfriend's got balls. <laughs> yeah. Ex girlfriend. And I'm like, I'm like, Brandy. You know my, you know my Chevrolet is currently torn apart, and is currently in the process of getting this heater core changed out of it. Mm-hmm. The black truck's the only truck I have that's roadworthy. And you want me to be stranded till Wednesday of next week, knowing you Wednesday of next week will turn into Wednesday of the ne- the week after that, before I get my black truck back and it'll come back on an empty tank and dirty. No. <laughs> <laughs> that woman is crazy. It's got a touch of the crazies in there. And she she got a little upset and she thought I'm like, dude, it, it's been it's been two months. How long does it take to get the fucking pictures off of it? I even offered it today. I'm like, look. We'll go to Kinko's. I will pay for the pictures to get took off and give you on a CD. Just give me my gamma camera back. She can almost keep the memory card at this point. Yeah, I'll well, buy a new memory card. I just want the camera and the battery pack back. And what's her response to all this? She don't have a response to those kind of things. I think she's used to having her way, and what she didn't like about me is I, I told her the N-O word a lot. And I think a lot of it comes from that she feels like if she gives that camera back, she'll I'll instantly go out of her life. And I don't think she wants that. Because she looks at me as like some kind of like bank that has no interest rate that you don't really have to pay back or some bullshit like that. Oh, you don't think... When you first said that, I thought there was a more like positive outcome. But that's I, not the deal. I, 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 I used to think there was a more positive outcome, but like... You you don't break up with somebody and still expect to have all the features or perks that they bring with them to the relationship. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Back when she introduced you to, based earlier on the show, anal beads, she got free cameras and shit. Now that's over. Well, she got to use. So the... I didn't give her cameras. I I let her use cameras. Uh huh. Like you know, like <laughs> if your wife goes, Woody, can I use one of your cameras to go take pictures of my friend's wedding? It's like, sure. Here's how you use it. Yep. yep. I don't expect her to steal the motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, so is Kyle? Kyle's not on. I think Kyle fell asleep. Wild card? What's the wild card? That's, that's Wings said we... it. Wings, Wings said, said wild card. card. Oh, all right, now we're forced God to damn end. it, Wings. Wings, I Jesus. I, I don't, what, I, uh, I'm not filled in on this. Is this something you'll fade up in? <laughs> Wild card now? Really? I could have gone for hours. Yeah, man. This was going to be like the, one of the greatest, yeah, longest PK episodes. episodes. We got to do another uh, eight hour one. I was going to go for 12 more hours. I was, I was, oh, but really? Wings called wild card. Wow. Damn it. Go check out the sponsor. He's yes, sponsored Yellow. by Yellow, the best PlayStation 4 player on YouTube right now. 